Hello, hello, my name is Soleil Moon. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you go back on the rest of my videos and you check those out, see how you like them. If you're not new here, you know the gist of what's going on, except you don't. I changed it up on you a little bit. So what my original plan was to do an episode of Life is Strange, an episode of Little Nightmares, an episode of Life is Strange, and then another episode of Little Nightmares. But I decided I wanted to play Life is Strange again, even though I just posted the last episode of Life is Strange because I don't want to be scared today. I don't want to sweat all my percentage of body fat off because that game scares me and I don't know what's to come with it, of course. I mean, I don't know what's to come with this one either, but I know it's probably way less scarier than what Little Nightmares does to me. So yeah, it's a little bit of a difference, but that's okay. I do want to say these episodes end up very, very, very long because I like to put the whole episode out there. So if you plan on watching this, you might want to get a blanket, a pillow, snacks and drinks, walk around and do chores while you're listening to this or just get comfortable because it is going to be a long episode yet again let's get this going i'm ready also you know the gist of the fact that i talk a lot in this because there is a lot to read so if i mess up some words or if i say some words wrong forgive me previously on life is strange whoa You don't know who the f I am or who you're messing around with. Don't you ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Mm. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the f*** are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel oh, soon. I've got to talk like about said, that, too. It's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Yeah, what is the over dark room? Over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My f dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped Sadly, in Sadly, yes. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> uh. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally Oh, oh yeah, the animal What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. I still can't get over this. How ironic. I cannot get over the fact that she wanted to steal the handicap fund money for herself, her own selfish reasons, and now look where she's at. Now, you, now she wishes she had all that money, doesn't she? Because she actually needs it now. Oh, I'm gonna start putting music where this was music also. I feel kind of bad leaving it. It's kind of awkward too, leaving it just, just plain. Okay, we're on the beach. Are we gonna see some dead whales? Cause that's what we saw on our way here. Uh, we saw one. There it is. That's so sad. That's so you know something's up. And things just start dying like crazy. Ooh, seagulls. Life is strange. Episode four, dark room. Dark room? Are we gonna find out more from- Oh, you don't understand how excited I am right now. Dang. 
it's so weird to see Max wearing that outfit too. Because that's not her. You know, they say that she doesn't have her own fashion, but she does. This isn't normal for her to wear. What's normal for her to wear is a t-shirt, It's jacket, weird and jeans. It's weird out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. We and you even wrote her. on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. Wait. You deserve the best stationery. Does she remember what? Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a way. Not totally. <laughs> Cutting out the cuss words of the worst. to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. True. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. <laughs> can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Yeah, how come they let you around those? They oh, explode God, after a while. At least I'm alive here with you. Ow. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. Mm. I can do that. Along with my parents. Well, they're your parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh, that's sad. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> I was looking at her uh, chair because I I want to know what this things on the side of her head is. Is it to prevent it from falling or something? Talk about accident. Blame William. No, talk about the accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? I don't think she say? blames her dad. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Ooh. Do you remember everything? Oh, don't ask that I question. I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Ooh. And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. That sucks. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I can't I imagine. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. So she... So she doesn't know Rachel? Wait, that makes sense, because she never went to that school. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her wow. in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? Wow. After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be. You think so? Don't say that. Don't say that. Just try to be positive. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging mm. out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, wow, Chloe, it's. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? Gosh. It is hella cold out here. Hella? <laughs> I hate that word, no offense. That's crazy. None taken. You know what's crazy to think about is you know Chloe with the blue hair, you know exactly that the reason of that she acts the way she does is because Max left never talked to her after she left her dad died so obviously she's going through a lot because in this situation it's just her that 
ended up going through is going through a really tough time and she's she's has she's still nice you know she doesn't say hella anymore uh, well she didn't even start on this one it's so weird so weird how are we gonna go back is my question so her house was blue wait i think i remember saying that last episode Dang, so she's in the garage. Man. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. This is cr I'm in shock right them. now. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. That's it's fine. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. <laughs> That's not pathetic, I know. Chloe. No, it's not. You're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. <laughs> Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, I think you, this is can my bar. Some water? Yes, I can. I still can't believe I put clothes. She's in coughing and I'm too busy looking around. I feel bad, but at the same time, I want to look around. Snow globes are taking over. She had a snow globe um that we broke but fixed again. Snow dough. Oh, it's oh, the the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Very minimal has it changed. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals the now. Dog. What is? Okay. Sorry, I want to look around first. There's the old Chloe. Well, it's not really old, is it? Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. That's... It's so great people get this high-tech help. Yeah. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. <coughs> Chloe is still a punk at heart. Sorry. But she can't stage dive anymore. 21 and over only. Show calendar October 2013. She's not 21, so she, I don't think she can go. Black Flag Tribute Band. Dorothy Twister, Lopan's Eyes. P head, the disco boys, and groovy go go goalies. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Hot Wheels chat room. Welcome to Hot Wheels chat room. Handybot, for your safety, do not give any personal information to any person in this chat room. You're responsible for knowing the chat room rules. Miss Blue, so what are you doing? She calls herself Miss Blue. So what are you doing, Ignatius? Talking with you, <laughs> Ms. Blue. Haha, <laughs> no sh Ignatius. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Miss Blue. Oh my god, love Scott Bakula rules. Mm. So do you. So do you. I hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're bringing on Bakula. Ignatius said, you better. Hello? She never answered back yet. Dang. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Um, Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Bad, Max. Okay. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see you smiling, your smiling face soon. Please be well, Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. Aww. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. 
thinking of you. Dear Chloe, I am so sorry for what happened. I know, th uh, know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. XOXO Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing like the like, I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. The hot dog sure made her feel great. Uh, okay, so it's so cool that you're here again. Aww. I'm glad you think so. That must be her mighty morphine machine. Oh, no more bongs for her. I mean, oh yeah, because she used to. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? Probably. She can't even feel the grass now. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. <laughs> what does that have to do with me? She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. I'm sorry. I keep looking around instead of That's giving her a her drink. serious heat lamp. Well, she gets cold. Okay, I think we looked at everything. Let's give her her cup. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? You couldn't have known this was going to happen, though. Drink up, buttercup. Buttercup? <laughs> I like how different oh, kind of dogs. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A <laughs> podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become it's so a bad habit. It's so weird to see her not right? with blue you hair. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember? You're right. It seems like yesterday. Literally. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here. Watching Power Rangers and Power destroying Rangers? the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour. Even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you I, can see, yeah. I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. Let's not talk you about other me. people that make her sad. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. Oh. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. That's true. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Uh <laughs> wow. Are you okay? Are they okay? They love you. Let's just say they that. They love you so they do. much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They mm -hmm. always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. I can't imagine. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. Can they pay? Can they pay? Pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Please. You're priceless. Uh, uh <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. <laughs> See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. She still has her humor. That's it that never sweet changed. To chill out together and Watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. She would and you know. You better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Oh, not yet. What did the bathroom say? Bath danger zone. Bathroom are a gas mat. Really oh, area. A friend who kept in touch. Gas I should have kept in touch. 
So, boop, boop. Aha, here's the DVD. Let's put that sucker in. Blade Runner. I've actually never seen Blade Runner. I heard it's good though. Maybe I should. I just forget to watch a ton of movies. Honestly, I'm kind of glad they added this because it shows me more of Chloe and the person she is. I don't know. It makes me like Chloe more. That's why I like it. It gives me more perspective of what Chloe is like. Dang. She stayed all night. I wonder who fell asleep first. Was it Chloe or was it Max? Oh, most likely Max. Chloe's up already. Unless she didn't sleep. <laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? Oh, so I Chloe did fall asleep down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. <laughs> no, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. <laughs> oh wait, so Max, you I'm bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the poster in the back with the squares yesterday was reminds me of girl. Such a blast. It was, was great. Anger? Seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? Oh, I'm on I have Chloe. a feeling that we're not supposed to get it, you know? Okay, I'll be back. Oh, also I'm making note that I feel like if Max had kept writing her or kept talking to her, um, when Chloe with blue hair happened, I think Chloe with the blue hair would have probably been a little nicer, you know? <laughs> but look at this. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Overdue payment. Cronenberg Medical Supplies, Rock Castle, Oregon. Bill date 30 March 2013. Total amount overdue payment. $8,587. Dang, who ta- Victoria? Oh, I forgot we have to read. Let's go back up. Max, you busy? Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help out. You never let me help. Okay, drama, stop. Okay, drama, stop and you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud from you know who for your information. S they're talking in. Uh, save me a bowl. Gotta bounce. TTYL. Come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. Silence. So, if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. This is so weird. And no one else? Oh, right here. I knew it. Taylor. Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom is a ba bade, bade, is a bad 
like you yeah right i cried like a so did i you didn't see me it's okay to cry it gets old my stupid phone is about to die so call me back nathan oh this is so weird i hate everything about this i'm like in so so much shock i can't i, I can't even talk yo yo max you around in the dark room developing shots for the contest so i think i thought so so dark room is where you develop pictures so why is that a big thing sweet sweet so no two whales for you not yet i'll see you guys later though peace out i hate this absolutely mom um happy birthday maxine we can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought brought to us maxine this is your mom we need to talk to you about some bill some of your bills are you there yeah yes Give me some time to answer. I can't text in every class. Some teachers get super peed off when people use their phone. Yes, because it's super rude. And please don't be so snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one. And that's why we're wondering if you need to spend... Ugh. Reverse. You're not the only one. And that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use your credit card when I needed it. I only brought film, not a camera. Maybe, maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later. I, I have to go. Don't pout. Love you. Hey, honey, hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either, mommy. So she still talks the same. Chloe. Hey, Max, this is Will. Oh, hey, Max, this is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon. I hope. Bye. Hey Chloe, Maxine here. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to let you know I'm going back to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Max is back? Blackwell? This is awesome. Your rule. Best of all, we can hang together. So yes, this is still my number. Cool. I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me. It's been too long. I know. I'll see you soon. Aww. And Alyssa. Hey Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that TP at me. Oh my god, I was not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Wow. Uh, I was still reading. I know we have a lot to read. Um. Oh, whoa, we got a whole new journal. That's so weird. That's so weird. <clears throat> September 4th, 2013. So much to do. I wish I could slow down time, especially to register all the cool things that have happened since I'm back in Arcadia. Black World rules. September 21st. Yes, I'm older and thanks to Vic and Nathan, I'm now a bit more fashionable too. They surprised me with the most beautiful straw pork pie hat wrapped up furoshiki style. Best birthday party ever. Also drunkest. I can't sleep. October 4th. Hey. Dear diary, remember me? Busy, Max. Busy, busy. Can't write right now. Must shoot. Must live. Must be friend. Should rekindle with Chloe too, but must vortex first. Party time! She talks different. Wait, calls Victoria Vic? It's like I don't even know who she is anymore. <laughs> um, okay, so let's look at this. Oh, sure. That's great, they finally went to Paris. Excuse me. Okay, so that's a dialogue option. Oh, wonderful. You scared me. It sounded like Dumbledore for a second. Dumbledore. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV and they use her tube television. Let's be real, who's gonna use a TV more? I doubt they watch TV as much. To think so that our stressed. destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. That's true. I should I have hidden them though? Shoot me now. Dang, calm yourself. I will be there in a second. Choice is a food coupon, boss. Coupons are great, okay? No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Hey, you know, which one do you like better? cookies they went to paris anyways they don't need it for anything else now 
Okay, can we go this way? Aha, there's always something over here. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Garage sale, 44 Cedar Avenue, Saturday 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Furniture, clothing, kitchenware. They need that money. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. This is America. You know? Happy credit card services. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, your joint account has been closed and is now six months overdue. Please send a check or money order for $3,458 payable to Happy Credit Card. Best, re best regards, HCC services. <sighs> Arcadia Bay Physical Re Rehabilitation. Dear Mrs. Price, do Due to recent state and federal cuts, we regret to inform you that your health insurance no longer covers Chloe's physical rehab. We could reinstate Chloe as a standard rate for $1,250 per week. Sincerely, Dr. J. Smith. You're kidding me. That is... This is making me mad. <laughs> okay, so let's go talk to William. Where's a plant? Actually, there was a paper... <sighs> These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. They're still here. Arcadia Bay Beacon, beached angels looking for the whales. Whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of a gray whales that in inexplicable swam to land and to their doom. The whale pods were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours, at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, e e eco ecologists yeah, and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales and environment. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Continued on the next page. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. <clears throat> That's, I guess that I can't is, change everything. That is weird. I guess not, though, because the only person's life we really changed was Chloe's and her family's, and apparently ours. Research for popular teen continues. Blackwell honor student Rachel Amber has been not been found for over six months, yet her family and friends have only in, intensified the search for the 18-year-old Arcadia Bay resident. Police and FBI have few leads and little information in the case, which has caught the interest of national reality show Where Did They Go? The Amber family has offered a reward for an, any information leading to the whereabouts of their daughter. For more details, please contact help at findrachelamber.org. Dang. Wait, the Prescotts are willing to help. Wait, no, no, no. Wrong case. The Prescotts are willing to help the case of the animals. Why was I surprised about that? That's crazy that she's still missing. Okay, can we look at the paper? They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Dear Mr. Price, this letter is to notify you that you are in default of your payment obligations on your home loan account. Number 783. This current account holds the amount of $12,000 payable by August 1st, 2013. This amount has been overdue since March 1st, 2009. And you have ignored multiple requests to make a payment or re Reconcil reconsolidate your debt. Unless the full amount of $12,000 is received within 15 days, we must begin the foreclosure process on your home. We have given you more than adequate notice on this issue and we have no other options left. Best Donald Clamp lenders. Have you though? Like, you're not the only payment they probably loan they probably took out. Not the only payment bill that they have to do. Hey, William. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. So How Chloe gets her, me? her... I haven't seen you in forever. From her dad. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. 
good, or I'd be a scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? A lot. Care well, there's a lot to talk about. Um, let's do Chloe first. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. That's true. Glad you're here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. <laughs> Max, I, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William? Um... <laughs> I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Why is Paris true? Oh, because he went to Paris. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. They're gonna make me sad. It's not fair, Max. The care room. I was impressed by Chloe's room with that. all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. I can Insurance imagine. Insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Come on. I know you're sad, but you gotta... He's he's being funny. You gotta joke with him. Being little. around you and Joyce again is... So... Nostalgic. I'm assuming Joyce is at Very work. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Holy moly! I want to talk about the Prescott family. The Prescott too. family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Hmm. Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know. He knows. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. What? I don't even like to think about it. She, she doesn't work at the diner anymore? Oh, crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type <laughs> pardon my French. <laughs> but all I, I actually care oh. about now is Chloe and Joyce. I love my William. My family. He's great. I was reading I... about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I can't imagine. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. I have to go see if oh, Chloe yeah. needs anything. Excuse me. It was so great talking with you again. Yeah, I like You act like it's the last time. Uh... And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. <laughs> I feel extremely bad for them because they're such a good family. They didn't deserve this. Can I go through this door? No, I'm assuming that's a bathroom. Okay, let's see if anything's changed upstairs, shall we? Well, yeah, what's in this room now then? Wait, I want to search everywhere else. I feel like, wait, we gotta go to the bathroom. So let's go there last. Can we go in? Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Um, but, mm, I'm sure other things didn't change. You just don't realize them yet. Oh, wow. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. I just walk in like I own the place. Oh, my God. I mean, Joyce is still sweet as ever. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Oh no, Chloe's probably in pain right now because I have not. 
Arcadia Bay Spinal Center, dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, we are, uh, as we dis this is, uh, I'm sorry, rewind. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand that reality that the respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibilities. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changes, changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Best Dr. Anton Fibs. Man, I got emotional there for a second. I understand that feeling. It, you can never be prepared. It sucks for a doctor to have to say that because you know the family's never going to be prepared for the worst situation. Okay, so we can't go in that. I heard the bird outside and I could have sworn it was the same bird. Sorry, uh, Joyce, I'm just going through your stuff. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. That's the one. That's the one that she hid when it's she was with- It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Did you interrupt me, Joyce? I'll allow it because I like you. Because you're cool, coolio. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Mm, I don't know. I can't tell. I was going to say the dad because he has a camera, right? I think, at least I think. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Super Dad, Be the Family Hero by Dr. Bill. I like William, but... Uh, I'm assuming we go back to the what we're used to. Ashtray? You smoke, Joyce? That's not good for you. <sighs> Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. I know. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. The fact that you even let me go through all this. I, she's literally Joyce right is there. already a super mom. Oh, they're both super mom. Lead the family by Dr. Bill again. Hey, Joyce. Uh, let's speak to her. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. Well, of course. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Chloe needs help. What does that mean? I'm just gonna say I hope I so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do. do so much. And she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. True. No matter what. Poor Joyce. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult. But nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Eco Havoc, a lot of work, they... She wouldn't know him. A lot of work. Plus, Can I get the other choices? You guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. Oh, I even had to take sucks. a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Oh, she's working Ugh. part time. Do you oh. know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son. Nathan. Uh, we're apparently friends with him. I'm gonna ask the David thing so, last. What do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Mm -hmm. Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. 
I know the feeling. <laughs> Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Yeah. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. Yep. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. He Cute, is. Quiet. When we got on Why? the bus to see Chloe. Oh, um, Chloe. I, I was just he was the bus driver. Curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Uh, last thing. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero they through all cute. this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Chloe and William? Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. <laughs> they yeah, do. Those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe you can will tell actually they joke listen around. to William while she usually uh. ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. I got you, Joyce. Joyce. I'm here for you, Joyce. Things would be I'm not talking about that. me. Me. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. I got you, you Chloe. Too, honey. Chloe. I got you, Joyce. I got you. Just call me up, whatever happened. Call me. Me. This person. Call me up. I'll be there. I'm like, what are you talking about, my girl? Joyce? You thought can we go oh yeah we could go in this room chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore i'm pretty sure it's not yeah filled with a ton of stuff either wow it's so crazy to see a room how you know how whacker it is it's this whacker dude excuse me this is whacker um, it's so weird to see when you decorate a room, you see it that way, but once you empty it, you realize how different it looks, you know? At least we never had to hide from step douche. True that. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Butterfly effect, I'm telling you, you 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 stepped on the butterfly basically by bringing William back. Although I'm glad I'm glad we met William. He seems nice. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Uh-uh. That there's nothing wrong with hoping, because there's there's a ton of people. I don't know about a ton, but there's people who are paralyzed, and they were told that the likelihood of them walking is very slim, and they end up walking. Like, don't ever give up hope if that's what you you know that's what you want. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the press. I understand it can foundation. be hard though. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry I can't help with the loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Uh, why am I giving her a slight southern accent? Because Joyce has one. Okay? Don't judge me if it's bad. I'm sorry. Oh, this is a scratch out. Because her dad's alive. I guess we stopped growing up together. You can't put. You can't be thinking about the past too much. Nope. That's gonna be a music moment. I could tell. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up, and I've been sent to. And I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work in is these days. I wish I could send you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Dang. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Boots are the best thing. I love boys. I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. We can't. It won't let us. Nothing else, I'm assuming. No, we already read that. I got it. Comfy. Ugh. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. We don't need the light? Yeah, I figured we would. Okay, then right after we're done, 
right after we're done, we're going to turn off that light because... How's it going, Time Tripper? Can you pay Funny. my bills? I think I look older. Can you pay my telephone bills? You kind of do. It's definitely Here the it shirt. The shirt. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. It's the shirt and cardigan combo. I think that makes her look a little older. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Yep. Nothing here. Oh, we searched and we were supposed to slowly find it. That's fine. I'm gonna open it just it's in case. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Natural medicine could be good for you. Okay, nothing else. Let's turn off this light because we ain't paying their bills and we don't want to rack up their bills. I kind of don't like the fact that she was saying that. I don't like the fact that she was saying um you're a pirate right max like she seemed to try and convince us to get the morphine so i'm kind of suspicious on that oh it was just a safe plan i forgot she could run okay i got it what is this why can i open these she has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating Oof. nothing but medical supplies oh so we could have searched here too finally uh, give me the blue pill hold on no it's just another save point i keep seeing the thing I'm and i think she's writing i'm nosy but not precise go ahead and plug it right in it's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Okay, so there was nothing wrong with it. Never mind. Of course my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. There's nothing wrong I'm with that. high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but <laughs> can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were yeah. kids. Yeah. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Oh yeah. Plus Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price, huh. ever. Since when do you want love? Usually you want it when I'm laying down. Oh, is it over here? Hi, Ash. Hey, don't scratch my chair. Oh my God, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Oh, look at the drawing. Look at it. It's so, I don't know, it's cute. I love it so much. So that wasn't it. It wasn't this, this was where the movies were. Okay, she said over there, so I'm assuming it's so. Oh, it's this. Oh. So Chloe has her own photo album. Photo albums are great. Wow. I love. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Report card, Blackwell Academy, Price, Chloe. One, Phys Ed, A. Art, A. So, oh, Social Studies, A. Life Skills, A. Personal Health, A. Math, A. Science, A. Excuse me. Dang, shit. What student. a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bull fund, even if it wasn't another reality. No, <laughs> I still want to have uh, Blackwell Academy, the 8th, August 2011. Mis Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as principal, I am in sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class ac accessibility, etc. Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full compliance under the America's Americans with Disabilities Act. However, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern 
renovations necessary to fulfill all the needs of your daughter and her re regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cuts in education, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy, but that day will come. Chloe is without doubt an amazing student with her great potential despite her handicap, and I believe she would find a more fitting, rewarding scholars, uh, scholastic environment at the H. West Mystonic Institute in Bolton. They have a rich legacy of disabled graduates, and I know that Chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in more comfortable settings surroundings. With her outstanding GPA, there is no doubt that Miss Donick would welcome Chloe with open halls. I hope you will seriously consider this suggestion as I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend school that can cater to her many needs. In the same spirit, I have also enclosed brochures for other potential schools in the Oregon region. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Sincerely, Principal Wells. I don't know if it's just me. I don't see how he's kind of, I don't see how he's in the wrong with this because when he's just the principal, I don't think he can make decisions on what can be done to the school. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think he can be like, yeah, I'm going to knock this down, knock this down. Maybe he can have a say, but I don't think he could just make that disclosure fully. I'm not sure. I don't know how that works. But at the same time, he's, he told, he isn't, I can understand being mad if like he said, no, you know, we can't, sorry. But he didn't, he gave other school options just in case to help her to you know because regardless she's gonna do good wherever she goes it's just the fact that he told her that you know i can understand maybe inserting little ramps isn't that bad because you can't really change how big the hallways are but you can make your own ramps and stuff like that to help her but i can't be too mad at this because he did he did try to help with other places okay so that's it with that so I'm assuming this is the photo album. Yep, it is. She answered my question. Okay, so here you go. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my God, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. <laughs> he actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Damn. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. There's that picture, yeah. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. That's the day he was Literally gone. seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo, maybe I could. Go back. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? Yeah, what are you? Uh -huh. I'm saying... That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. Oh no. And you made me feel I'm that way today. Nervous. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Oh no. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I can't do that. Not that I don't know, because that doesn't seem... 
I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that because I know it's what she wants, but I don't want, want to put that on Max or her, her parents. And again, I know it's her life, her choice, but I do not, it's a rough patch and things are going bad, but you never know when something could turn and something gets good. You, you just never know. You, you, I know with her situation it's really hard and that she's going through a lot, but you can't you can't give up hope that things will turn around and change, you know? I'm gonna refuse it, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I I, I can't. Chloe. We literally so I saved can't. Kate's life. I can't I can't it take wrecks someone else's. me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the no. right to put choice. No. Mm -mm. And William, no. I already said my goodbyes to them, no. but they won't honor my wishes. You will. I already said no. I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Yep. Max, I'm, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd <laughs> rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I can't. I'm going I just can't. to help you. But not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Oh, she's just hurting. I know she Why is. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. I know she does. She's upset. Chloe. She's just saying that. I am never leaving you again. Kind of like how Kate was with everything. When she got mad at Max, she was just angry. They don't mean to be hurtful. Focus on the picture. I'm sorry, William. Yep, we have to reverse it. Oh, that sucks, because I do like William. I do. David Madsen, I don't really like. I kind of needed to. Uh, uh, did I cheat? Yes. Cause I couldn't figure out Someday to save my Dad life. will get one of them newfangled computers. I oh no, we have to be here Max. again. This is a keeper. Oh my God, I I hate this. Hello. What hey, honey. What? Of course you do. You had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. <laughs> Where are my keys? Max is gonna feel. You mean your college fund? Like. I can't imagine it being in that situation uh, right now. You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. You don't have to don't burn the picture. Tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but That's come on. Terrible. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. I feel like... Now it's gonna change all, it's gonna change back. Their funeral his funeral. Chloe, yeah. Isn't it gonna be David Madsen instead? Yeah. Them arguing over the cake. I think that's a very funny picture. Even though this is, this is a serious moment. 
What's this one again? Oh. Her and Rachel, I'm assuming? This is insane. Shouldn't we be in her room? Her dorm room? Because that's where we did... Got... How we got to the other place. Chloe! You're back! Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high. But thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Sorry. I knew it. Um... Okay, next page. <clears throat> With Chloe and William, right before he left to pick up Joyce for the last time since my power somehow way back, it was this. In my room, all I could think of was, I wish I could go back in time and help Chloe, and suddenly I was looking at the photograph William had taken of us on the day he died, and it started pulsing like it was a three like it was 3D. Like I could see inside the photograph. Then I found myself actually back in the photo to when I was 13 years old. I was back in Chloe's kitchen in the year 2008. With Chloe and William right before he left to pick up Joyce for the last time. Since my power somehow morphed to this new level of rewind, I decided that there was no way I was going to let William die again. So I played the hide the keys until he had no other option but to take the bus. I was so happy I actually saved William. I never thought about what could go wrong. I knew I was screwed when I came out of my epic rewind and I saw Victoria chase. But now she was my friend and I was a member of the Vortex Club. Enough said. I knew I had screwed up, and then I felt sick thinking that what I have changed with Chloe. I had no clue when I saw David Madsen driving the school bus. He sure didn't look so threatening anymore. I didn't want to know how he ended up as a bus driver instead of a choice. I felt my heart drop when I rushed to Chloe's house. So when William opened the door, I prepared myself for the worst. That's when Chloe rolled forward in her wheelchair, paralyzed from the neck down. I didn't even know what to say. So I covered my mouth in my typical gesture of shock and stupid. But Chloe's smile was so genuine and beautiful, I almost cried. I had to adjust to everything without freaking out or telling Chloe that I actually altered time and space to save her father, but to get her in a, but get her in a car accident so she could never walk again. The thing is, she was still Chloe, just minus all the rage. This Chloe was just grateful to be alive and have her family watching over her. Chloe begged me to spend the night, and of course I did. I noticed how run down parts of their home were compared to before. I saw the incredible expensive equipment that Chloe now requires, including her new garage room. Sorry, David. That's true though. It, Chloe in the wheelchair looks, uh, not looks, acts just like Chloe with the blue hair. She just has more anger now because her dad's gone and everything that happened. Even though I felt awful and disconnected, Chloe was just so bubbly and excited to hang out with me again, especially since I flaked out on her pretty hardcore after her accident, even in an alternate universe. I'm a, I'm a bad friend. Chloe's words were so new and unique to me, especially her strength and kindness and pain. She needed a whole pharmacy to get through the day. I didn't feel sorry for her. I felt in awe with her attitude. This Chloe didn't blame anyone for her condition, even though she had the right. We strolled down the beach and saw the beached whales that proved something bad was happening in both realities. And then Chloe asked me to put her to sleep. The accident left her body pretty much broken. Her lungs stopped working properly and she was basically dying a slow, painful death. She also felt so guilty about her parents' sacrifice and dwindling income. She wasn't erratic or tortured about this request, just practical. 
which made me even feel even more terrible for putting her in this situation. But there was no way I was going to help my best friend take her own life. I couldn't do it. Especially after what happened with Kate. I know I should have done whatever Chloe asked me, considering I was responsible for her situation. But how could I inject her full of morphine and just watch her fade away? I know she was just upset, but I just had to tell myself that this, rea this reality wasn't real. After my visit to Chloe's new world, I knew it was time to go to, ma to, go to Max to the future. I had seen the result of my tempor temporal tampering and I got scared thinking of my new power wouldn't even work anymore. That would have been cruel karma. Fortunately, I was able to pro pro project myself into the photograph once again and I did everything I had done. Goodbye, William. Again. Hello, David. Again. Dang. Did you see how, how into that I got there for a second? Dang. Okay, let's see. Wow, I got a message from everyone. Let's do Warren. Oh yeah, because I didn't check. I just read something beforehand and then I'll say something. Um, B effing minus? I got a B minus on my chem test. How did this happen? I don't know. Who is this? I didn't know we could change his test or I would have done him a favor. Ouch, Warren the wounded, the B minus, it burns. I wish I could have helped you, but I thought you were blinded by science. In this case, yes, my folks will sh Dang. Victoria. Oh no, cause Mr. Jefferson had to snitch. I thought you might be freak if be ready for the Vortex Club, but after the you pulled with Jefferson, no way. You're such an emo queen that you didn't that you didn't want anybody going with him to to San Francisco. I think that's where they're going. You're even too much of a to enter your cliche selfies in one of the this uh, in one dumb contest. It's all about Max. Even going to the roof was about showing off, not about saving Kate. I'm going to make sure nobody at Blackwell is fooled by your woe is Max act. Get ready. She needs to stop. I do care about Kate. And I know Max does too. We're the only people who were there for her. If we just wanted attention from it, we wouldn't have ever been there for her except for being on the roof. Mom. Oh, I did. I killed me. Lisa. Um... Maxine, what the heck is going on with the weather up there? Are they doing military tests or something? You're right, in the eye of the storm. Yes, I even killed my plant Lisa. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Get another. One plant was stressful enough. Now back to the books. Talk soon, exo maxo. Yeah, we- I didn't mean to. Okay. Ooh. Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course, I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you and your bunny misses you. Yay, <laughs> yay, you are such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you, XO Maxo. <gasps> we'll get to see her. Did you see her? She said, I miss you and my bunnies. Wait, bunnies? Oh, bunny. Mm. Hey Justin, are you busy? Hey Max, I'm bu I'm just I'm busy blazing. What's up? You know Frank Bowser Bowers? Drugs. That's it. Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? <laughs> Juliet. Hey Max, I hope you're okay after everything. You might be busy, but feel free to call me anytime. Hey Juliet, are you okay? No time. No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going on? Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in the RV around town. You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's the sketchy meth head. That's about it. A van, van. I like to live in a van down by the river. If you know that reference, you know. Why? Are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk, talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from ace reporter Julia Watson. Hello? <laughs> this is Dan.
Oh yeah. Hey honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a block number. Oh, I'm so sorry. Some a-hole in my class thought they would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being your dad. I know this is, has been rough has been a tough week for you it's almost over i'll call you guys later love you courtney hey girlfriend let me know when you want to come by my room and i'll give you a fashion makeover oh thanks courtney i'm swamped with homework now but i'll check in with you later thanks again for the offer and chloe um i don't know oh Hey man, I suck again. Sorry I got in your face today and I took out my rage on my best friend. Okay, she apologized. That is... Chloe, I'm starting to like you a little more. Chloe, I understand. You're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Winky face. Okay, this is your one get out of emoji jail card. But we need to stock up on cigs, coffee, and candy for an all-nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Wat excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. What a bad English accent. Um, I'm starting to notice, it seems like Chloe's being more selfless um, because she mentioned Rachel and Kate and not just Rachel. So no worries, I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XOXO, and that was no emoji. She's seizing better, I like that. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Ooh. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Oh. I don't think I can Sorry. ever tell Chloe about what happened. I don't think I would. I don't think that's a good idea. Mm. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Heck yeah. What is this journal? It's the snow dough. That snow dough always makes me think of William and Chloe. So is that the one we accidentally broke? Examine. I want to look. Hmm. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, <laughs> what things? <laughs> One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit has gotten his messages. Three, mm. beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, you, and the Dark. You can't do that. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Hey, yes, that's the solution. I could have gotten it back we'll and I didn't realize. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass and rewind. No, oh, I can't. Whatevs. It's your power. Shh. Which I can't waste on She's shit She's learning. Like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. Oh, come on, Chloe. Like, I like you, you now. Come on. Me. I was just getting to like you. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig she up. She said I know. I'm going to cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. Okay. And be careful of stuff, Brack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom was getting in the boot. I'm on it, partner. Ooh, did you see? I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. I can't, that's true. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Yup, yup. Damn, this is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Ooh, I'm ready. Also, I want to make it note that I am starting to like Chloe. She seems to be learning that being an a-hole is not the way to go all the time. Okay. The Great Northwest, the Prescott's Pan Estates, Heaven or Hell, or Haven or Hell, by Craig Kennedy. Uh, okay. The name Prescott may not be may not mean much to you or those outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town, but this is a name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay, a quaint town seemingly stuck in time. Once home to a, excuse me, prosperous fishing and tourism industry, the town has seen, has, 
seen much better paydays despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the Otters. Environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life, resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they are behind an expensive, exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates to be built into the deep forest near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Continue on next page. You know what? One thing I will say that I really like about this game is the fact that they touch on really serious and very real in the real world situations. And that's what I like. It's very, this game's very real because this still happens to this day and this has happened. So I like that. I like that. So that's it? Okay. So, uh, papers. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. True, but uh, can you pick that up? Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Yep. Don't drink too much. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. He does. She's just she's just angry. She's not. She, I I I don't really believe she blames him. To be honest. I I can't. I, I I'm really bad at finding what you can take pictures of. That's why I'm looking at achievement locked ambient. Ashtray. Yes, Chloe Price was here. Dang, she smokes. No offense, a lot. What's this? I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Ooh, okay, okay. Sorry, I am sorry, William. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. From Arcadia Bay Police Department, Miss Price, this is Officer Anderson Barry, and since we have your contact info on file here, we'd like you to come to this by the station on Monday morning at approximately 8 a.m. to answer a few questions about any information you may have regarding a recent break-in at Blackwell Academy at the fact that your car was identified in the parking lot around the same time. We look forward to your clearing this up, Officer Barry, ABPD. Oopsies. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. Honestly. How much yeah. time have I altered since? A lot. Let's be real, that you rewind powers, there'd be a lot that happened. Okay, so let's go. Oh no, that poor little bird has been trapped in here. I know that. Let me see if I can open this dang window. Oh, open it. We gotta let this bird out. I couldn't do that last time, but I'll do it this time. Let's open it before you... Where is it? She can't see? Um... Can we close the door so he doesn't try to... No, we cannot. Fly, be free. Okay, okay. We finally saved the bird. Why does that have consequences? I don't know. Don't, don't run into this window like you did the other one. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Ooh, yeah. I don't want to bump into him. I said I'm not scared of him, but I still feel like I ruined his life. I mean, it's his his actions. Mm. Max looks so done. I don't think David's a genuine- You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. You broke up your own family. I salute you. You, David, your, your actions are what I caused this. I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. See, this is what I mean. He's not a bad guy, but he... This is where... I, 
He's blaming me for actions that we we just told him about the actions that he was doing. So, like, Warren, Warren G. Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texts me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Oh, <laughs> Chloe actually texts you? I'm sure, I sure didn't, I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get to go to Ape with you, unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we could all go. One pain in the A is enough. Cool. I have to jet. Talk to you later. We better be talking to him. Okay, so we got, we got one picture. Uh, let's see if I even get any of this. What the heck is that? Okay, next. I've never been so glad to see Chloe in my life. The second I saw her blue hair and that beautiful pissed off face, I wanted to kiss her again. And I couldn't even tell her where I'd been or why. It would be more, it would be one more thing to alienate. Chloe for me, alienate Chloe for me in the world. I had to get refocused on our research for Rachel. Chloe has been busy with the detective work while I was in, in my alternate timeline. Is there a new photo? David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Oh, I'm sorry, but this did not look, I, I looked at the corner and I was like, they changed the pictures? No, they didn't. A no. Looks tiny. Looks like David already booked a room. The Blotch Hotel, 555-397-0042. Reservation number 38. Dang, I'm so sorry, David. But at the same time, you were the one that was doing stupid stuff. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? That's what they called them in the, la in the alternate universe. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Well, yeah, they never got to go. What is this? No. Is this from David? Ouch. No. Yes, it is. David. David. Oh, it's from Joyce. David, do not... David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. J. Price. Ooh. She said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm not sitting. Did I actually cause that clock to stop? It seems like it's still moving. Ooh, newspaper. We'll go outside in a second. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Arcadia Bay Beacon. Eco Apocalypse Now? Why am I having such trouble reading? While Arcadia Bay was un until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook on the Oregon coast, the town t that time forgot is still. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> While Arcadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook on the Oregon coast, the town that time forgot is since the beginning of the week in the literal eye of an environmental storm, starting with a freak snowfall, an unprecedented eclipse, dying birds, and now a half dozen beached whales. Arcadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists, apparently including NASA. What's even more incredible that the than these eco phenomenon is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered any actual theory or even reason for this atmo atmospheric havoc. Continue on the next page. It's all on cap, so I read, I yelled it. Uh, I still messed up saying stuff, but that's okay. It was better. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Okay, you can't be mad. Yes, he needed a rude awakening. Was it kind of harsh that we all gained up on him? Mm. Oh my god. Three, four, five. There's only five still. That birdie better be okay. It better not die. What is this? William never finished painting that wall. That sucks. Anything we need out here? There's the birds still. There's this. Why do we need to be out here? There's. Maybe she looks at these again? Poor birds. 
I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Can you blame him? <laughs> That fly is right in my ear. I hate when it does that. Okay, so I'm assuming we go into this room. There's a reason I'm not running around because I can't even control things it looks normal. like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Might as well look. Why is that? Can we unlock that lock? I am curious. There's no. What the hell did David do for Nathan? Yeah, so and nice what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best, Sean Prescott. This sounds bad, but I never met a nice... Me, personally, I never met a good Sean. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. I'm surprised he kept most of it instead of like taking his car and you know. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. He was a good guy. I'm I not wish even Chloe could too. What is this? Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. I didn't think the relationship would be so bad. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. I know there's I he doesn't seem like such a bad guy. Joyce, you know I'm not you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overset bounds with the surveillance and suspicion and I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there is there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay. I have never told you. You're my wife and my partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof instead of a student almost... Uh, it said, I, ugh, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... I'm telling you, he's not that... I mean, he does. he's not the best, but Dave, I don't think David is that bad. Is it weird? Yes, but... I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time, if there is one. David Madsen, as per our discussion about the new campus surveillance system, Miss Grant has informed- this is the principal. As per our discussion about the new campus surveillance system, Miss Grant has informed me that her petition was only one v a venue of protest. While we initiate this new era of Blackwell security, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Best Principal Wells. Uh, no, Max, what are you talking about? Com having cameras is a good thing. And they're talking about privacy right here. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. From Michelle Grant from, to David Madsen. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this suspicion coming. Best of luck to you, Miss Grant. Miss Grant. What's At least he has one weird fan. From, from anonymous to David Madsen, dear Miss Mr. Dave Mr. Madsen, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bull what happened to you in this school has too many lip lip liptard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge, and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we all are safe at night. I am scared of the school. Wait, so did he get fired? From what principal? I'm confused. Why is he not back at the school? I am lost. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. From Dewey Madsen to Raymond Wills. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of an untrustworthy student. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me, it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madsen D. Dang. Wait, did he get fired or not? I'm confused. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Hmm. I think David just wants to investigate, to be honest. I wonder if David is going to the party. Probably. He's probably gonna sneak around. 
Let's be real. Anything up? I should probably like a pie. That's how I missed the gun in Frank's RV. Low, nothing. Because we already saw all this. That's the door to get out. Anything else? A lock? Oh. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Use. It's, it should be 7171, right? Yes, I remember that. I knew that number <laughs> the only reason I remember is because I, 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 I literally just edited and just posted the, the last video and she was looking for the password of the computer. That was oh, one of them. Maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. I don't like this. Oh, I'm not wearing my engagement ring. I was washing dishes. I forgot to put it back on. Oh my God, I feel terrible. 3.17 PM, Blackwell Academy parking. She knows something. How does she know though? Holy cr- There are so many. There are so many. He saw the fight and he didn't stop it. Whose red truck is this? Dang. Score. Back to Chloe now. That's great. I knew I saw oh. something in here. Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. This plank is good for nest protection, but bad for a nest photo. Um. Excuse me. Wait. Just one picture, please. It is protecting the birds. Did Did David put the plank there to sit, to help the? If he did, that's no offense. That's kind of sweet. Wait, oh, the mom's not in here anymore. Birds die like the others. Literally, the mom's not here. I, should I lift the Click. window open? Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Honestly, I understand. Let's move this back. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wigs. Cause I think that was placed there intentionally. Is there anything else? No. We're gonna go through this door and then we're gonna, I, I wanna see if there's a diary. Oh, I just start, because of this game, I start keeping a notebook. It's nice actually. Um, uh, we already read this. What's that's the picture? So we got two. So we got we need stones, footprints, and these two tails. It's a heart, a whale. There's so much. Oh, is this like a, a bird claw? I think so. I was wondering what that was. Um, okay, back to Chloe. Though. Wait, what does that say? Wait, what? Okay, I'm confused. Uh, I, could, I I don't know where the note went. Oh well. Okay, so let's Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. He is. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Yes, we get to see Kate! It's my girl, Kate. I get to see my girl, Kate, right? We get to see this Kate. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I hear you, but imagine how okay. Kate feels. Chloe, I'm so glad went with I, I us. Get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. Okay, I'm starting to like Chloe. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourself. Excuse me. I wasn't. 
total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. Chloe! But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. You're team growing Max. on me. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dang Come it! On. I didn't know I'd like Chloe. I thought she would say like this, but she's gr She's learning. She's learning. She's knowing when she does. You know what? Good job, Chloe. Good job. Kate, oh my god. I love her so much. Kate is one of is my favorite characters. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so no. sorry. Kate, no, Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. You Other people Max. do. Yes. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. Yeah. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but... I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs. I'm gonna cry. Was that subtle? Oh, I you know. better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating Morty. you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. Uh, and I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. Uh, I just pray I can get this drawing right. I am sorry, but did you hear her? She got all these flowers and she gave them to other... My heart. She is... So sweet. Um, I don't want to sit. Let's look at this. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. She's a good person. Kate is a genuine good person. I want to see your drawings. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Excuse me. Oh, this is the one she brought from her room because I've seen this one before because I remember this. I remember that butt. That butt. Flowers. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Wow, I cannot see that. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. it yeah, if that's her thing. She's not, she's not making anyone else look at it. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Uh, be real, Max. What other balloons are there? That is so sweet. Wow. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Of course Nathan didn't. Let's be real. In our hearts and thoughts, we love you, Kate. Blackwell Academy. Stella, River S. I don't know who that is, but Hayden. Is that Jess? Evan, Luke, Warren, Zach, da Daniel, Max. We love you, Kate. Black Why is she saying that's so cute? Which literally her names are right there. Trevor, Victoria, whoever that is, Rory, Alyssa. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Kate, I know you hate me and you should, but I want to see you smile again. Please let me know if you need anything, XO Vic. Wow, I'm actually surprised to be honest. Oh, so we can talk to her about that, I'm assuming. It's a picture for her sisters. sisters. You really saved Kate. I'm not gonna lie, they cut. Yep. 
if it was partly if it wasn't for them i don't want to leave the hospital i haven't even talked to her yet okay so let's talk to her that's a lot let's look at it her is first. so good to know that kate is drawing again I love her. I love her so Kate, much. It is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I just want to talk to you. Yourself. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was it's so okay. Cool. It's okay. We need to plan like a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh yes. And you could bring Warren along too. I don't need to bring Warren. Wait, does she like Warren? Or does she know that Warren likes us? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. She has yeah, such a good a heart. She's a cutie pie. You know she's a cutie you. pie. And I'm she knows. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. <sighs> no, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. She did not. That was so sweet. We're going to end Victoria because I don't want her thinking about Nathan while we I leave. I want you to know I'm this close to getting we all are. the info I need about I hope. Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we You're have right. to stop him from hurting anybody else. Yes. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a true family. So Try what is going on right now? Um, Vortex Club. I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. Tonight? And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. Yep. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. <laughs> now it's time for Nathan to watch out for I us. I love Kate. Literally, I saw my favorite character. Letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh, not <laughs> nice. You know she wants to say but that. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Ooh, Why bad. do you think she acts so mean? That's true. She's insecure. I don't I, I think she's just insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. But if anybody can make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. Yeah. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means. To I don't see think you know. Kate. I was so I, I, I wanted to That's see you so bad. You, Max. Huh? Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Love Alice you. I'll see her soon. Um. Max, I think she just confessed to you. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Thanks again for visiting me, Max. Kate, I love you. You're amazing. Uh, that was so short, but I get it. Hi, Chloe. Well, how is she? Oh, she's actually She's still Kate me. Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Me Thanks too, Chloe. for coming with me. Yeah, thank now let's you. go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hey, why does Chloe look so cool right now? I think it's, I think it's because I'm starting to like her more. So I realize that she has, you know, she looks cool. I'm upset because him. Freaking! Why are the boys at are the dorms like really close? I'm so confused. Um. But I want to uh, mention the fact that um, Mr. Jefferson is right there. Wait, how is Chloe going to get in? The principal is right there. She's been expelled. Oh, Samuel and Mrs. Grant. Is that her name? Hey, Max. 
How are you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. No, I'm not I'm talking okay. to you. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. He knows. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? No, it's I don't like just you. Being on campus, like everything's normal. I, I won't forget I know. that you said it's my Name fault. As it sounds, life has to go on. Mm. I think there's too much going on in my life. I don't like. You. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, so she never you don't hate me for what I said to the principal. He probably does. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. No. Just get He's in the lying. habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. What? <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. No, Chloe! Oh, your teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. I don't want to Just wait it. until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. We don't. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now we don't great like thing. him. Oh, I don't, I don't like how egotistical he is. But he, I know he's lying. He's mad at us Let's that we see said if I something. I can find out where Nathan is. The principal is. Is this the where the principal sleeps? Wait, I want to look if we have any. We do. I knew it. <clears throat> of course, it was much easier for me to explore David's garage since Joyce booted his A out. That made Chloe more content than I've just. Then I've just about seen her since I returned. I still feel kind of bad for David, but he overstepped his authority. Dismissed. And it's so much easier to grab David's X-Files when he's not there. After we gathered our new info like Halloween treats, I loved watching Chloe go into Sherlock mode while we examined all of our clues on our big old drawing board. Of course, we all know that she's more of a Dr. Watson, right? <laughs> Elementary. Honestly, with all of the impending doom and sadness, I felt so happy just to find myself back in action with my best friend and her butterfly blue hair. Hell yes. But first things first, I really had to go and see Kate. I've never visited anybody in the hospital before, much less anybody who's tried to commit suicide. So I was happy. So I was happy Chloe wanted to come along for support. The an antiseptic smell and the endless white halls always kind of weird me out. Or maybe I'm just projecting my own fear of mortality. When I saw Kate in her room, surrounded by cards, flowers, and balloons, all I could think of was when I saw her the last time on the roof. Her face was so sad and sincere and helpless then, but now she had more life in her than I'd seen in a long time. I had no idea what to say to anybody in a situation like this. How are you after you almost jumped off a roof? But Kate's gentle spirit made it easy. I was overjoyed to see that she's withdrawing again and making plans for the future, including plans to get justice for what Nathan Prescott had done to her. Or what I call... Revenge. <laughs> I can't be serious for too long. Okay. Kate said she would get information for us. So, can we talk to these do bros? We cannot. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. <gasps> Stones! I'm gonna get- I wanna get photos. I keep missing them. One photo. For posterity. Heck yeah. I don't remember what anything else was, so I'll kind of be on the lookout. That's so That's... ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. I'm sorry, Brooke bro. doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Um. Uh, 
We're gonna talk about the whales. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes <coughs> sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I put my headphones on the wrong ears today. I'm trying to find my... Okay, so drone. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? Right. You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs... I didn't ask about... Talk to you later, Max. No! Talk to you later, Max. I want to talk about, um... It's not like I don't own all the original ape films. Hey, Brooke. Sorry. Ah. I'm here. Um... Let's talk about the whales first. Because I talked about that. Then I want to talk about... Then I want to that talk about, sense. um... We get... Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Oh my gosh! Okay, Brooke, um, but right now, I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I have to go. Oh my Talk gosh, later, Brooke. Brooke. Good, me, Nathan me. is not around. I should go back to Chloe. She is really upset. I can't go into this while, uh, what's his face is here? Yeah, I figured. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Samuel must be so upset about that. Yeah. It's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Uh, She's not even- How are you doing, Max? Oh, are they talking? <laughs> Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are oh, you? Samuel. Sad and confused uh, like everybody else in Arcadia I can't Bay. I open the side of my lips so it hurts. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Let's talk about the animals. He I likes definitely them. have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. He was talking about birds, so... What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens Ooh. near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but... something worse is in the air. Mm -hmm. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate. Then it doesn't matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Oh. Now they, they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. Isn't it kind of so, nice? <laughs> you and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. What? Oh, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... The squirrel, oh. yeah. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. <laughs> that is the so only cute. thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Man, I can Which believe. reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Okay. <laughs> Samuel's a. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, can we do I'm that? Very word. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look Get that food in your belly. And the animals. 
Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Can I still speak to him? Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. Samuel's so sweet. People, I'm gonna say Arcadia Bay. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students. At <laughs> I mean, she, um, Eclipse. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. Seriously. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Mm. No offense to Miss Graham here, <laughs> but this is just the beginning. The beginning of what? The beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. Mm. And Max... I don't like it at all. I can't blame him. I can't blame him. Um, let's make Rachel last. I'd rather be like her you. class in the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. Yo. Our time is on your side. Uh, uh. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Mm. Where is she? That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. But... Mm. Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Samuel. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Samuel's mm, more questions. I like Samuel. Answers. Samuel is always here to talk. We'll talk about Do you last. Ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. <laughs> I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I I think he sees you, Max. Hmm. Why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think because you have you... better vision than both of us. Mm -hmm. No, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different, different yep. angle. Yep. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. <laughs> what do you know? So, what do you know about Nathan? I know enough. To not want to know anymore. Well, he was okay. mean to him. Enough said. You know a lot of Blackwell secrets, so I, I thought you could help me. Max, I I'm a custodian, not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. Yeah. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. I appreciate She's her doing like so that. much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Thanks. Destiny? It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Uh, Miss yes. Chris just sitting here like, do, just Max. done? In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so that's her destiny. I believe you. Mm, Kate okay. just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. <laughs> See, I knew nothing. I, I knew Samuel was not sketchy. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Good to see I you knew. Out about, Max. Mrs. You Grant too. looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. She Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. <laughs> I was literally. And right I there. swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. Oh, I'm sorry. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could. I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I like this grant too. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow and whale. Do you see that drone? Why is she following me? I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. Um, we yeah. may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. Uh, I am yeah. worried about reality. 
I feel like it's changing okay, right it's in gone. front of us. I think you and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Mm. You think that's I why like... all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's wow. all you need to kill off sea we and wildlife still have here. These Unless you know something I don't. Uh. 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 Time travel? We don't want her to know. I that. wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. Mm-hmm. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly We're not. Friends. No way. No way. I just have to, uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. But mm. to be honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might he has issues. Honestly, much. if he had someone to talk to, I, I feel tell. like it'd be better. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Understandable. Max? Yeah, I do. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. It Who would have surveillance when we have Maxine Coffee. It would have. You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Yes, I don't again. Back on Blackwell side. Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. Mm-hmm. You see it, right? This Hello. week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe. Not bullied. Kate was drugged True. at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. True. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. Yep. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Mm-hmm. She's talking straight facts. I'm sorry. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. Yep. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Dang. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best time. <laughs> you and Warren too young and to be so simple. all my students. <laughs> But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Wow. It, yeah. Yeah. Nathan needs help. Honestly. I, I was going to say, having counselors or people to talk to isn't bad, but... <sighs> Every school I've been to, when you go talk to a counselor, it never ends up well. David! What's his name? Daniel. Daniel's his name. Sorry, Dan. I didn't mean to call you that. Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Must be hey, Daniel. Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. Oh, no. I'm a wannabe artist. No, you're not. I love your drawings. Take different photos. Don't get... Take different photos. Don't give up. I love you're your You're not drawings. here to be a photographer. That's my gig. <laughs> Look at that sketch you did of True. me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You that's true, he draws. are good, Max. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. <laughs> but I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. But she's mad at me. I don't think me. doing the right thing is brave, but mm. I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked yeah. on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't f*** Kate. Same. I like this revolutionary Same. Daniel DaCosta. 
Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Me and Daniel are on the same page with this. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. <gasps> People here push me into lockers, not oh, dance floors. They do. Why would we... I don't want him to get bullied. He's not on the list. That's mm, let's exactly go to the why party. you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies. Okay, for yeah, you're right, you're right. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Good evening. Oh, we will. It. There's I that will thing drone again! Like why is she? the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. She's following me. Why is she watching me? Is she that mad? Have you seen Nathan Prescott? You mean lately? Like, any time today? I saw Jefferson talking with Nathan a little while ago, Jefferson. but I try to stay out of his way. I have enough assholes to deal with here. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Dang. Who's the skateboard bro? Okay. I'm assuming we talked to... I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Yeah, but is she into him? Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. <laughs> Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. No. You suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. This isn't like, um, what is it? Little. This is a Pretty Little Liars. We're not going to start hitting our teachers. Come on now. It's so lame. They don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I'll oh, lay it down, Batman. No. Oh, no. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. What? Didn't Kate say she was going to text us? Um, sorry, I'm looking up because my brother, my little brother's texting me. Um, we got another picture. Um, so, okay, so she didn't text us, so we gotta find it. It's like, the Vortex Club sucks. Love, Evan. Evan. Oh, she did. Of course. That's why no sh** were given. Evan rolls. Okay. Holy moly. I effing knew Who you needs would a do dorm this. map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. Uh, Black Mill Academy, boys dormitory, no homo, racist pig. Knowledge is good. Sad no one ever. D T L A S. I P G M O Y E N A F U huge P Principal Wells is drunk right now. Not my circus, not my monkeys. F of my room, dorm O doom, boys TV lounge, Ganeo da Costa. Jeez, stop it. I hope we could change that. Indiana Jones, Samuel equals, equals Dexter, blow me, pizza boxes, Alyssa day and, and night. Hello there. What's what is what is going on here oh nothing principal we're just around with your okay okay so it's oh because they're making fun of them okay so she texts us i wonder how she found out oh 111 um, Supermax, in case you still need it, Nathan's room is 111. Kate, you're awesome. Thank you. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You're already a rebel. Trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise? Of course. I, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Smiley face. Oh, hmm. Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Who would steal cat pics? There's a girl here. Okay. 
Reward. On September 15th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria. I don't care about the school books, but my tablet was a large picture file of my late cats, RIP. So I will pay a cash reward, no question asked. Please, these cats were my best friends. Let's steal cat pictures. They have one more meeting left. That was a girl boy too, and they in the showers? So casual gamers, your time is over. Join. Join Gamer guys. Every week we play it and analyze a new game from Call of Duty to World of Warcraft. Whew. From strategy to shooters, game on. Friday, Wexler Media Center, 7 p.m. For further info, J Rom Romero at BlackwellAcademy.ed. That has to be in the bathrooms. Skateboarding is not a crime. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Oh, they're there. 111. Has to be down there. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. This is Daniel Zoom, isn't it? Ew. Ew. Y'all are nasty. <gasps> what is this? <gasps> Jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. That that makes me so mad. They're literally two of the one of the two of the best people. But Bigfoot's got Zach or Logan. Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Bro's got a bro. Okay, so this is Nathan's. Let's see these first. Hayden's. It's all good in the woods. Skunkweed and video games. Hayden. I sense Hayden is near. Why did they do that to Warren? Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. I say Nathan did this. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Warning, better. Oh! Nathan makes you mad sometimes. There Hello, was no Warren unique Drew. picture of reality. Stephen Hawking, Hawking and him make a good team. I cannot, right? I can I... have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go ape. Hey. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. Are you made of copper and damn because you're you're cute. He won't know it's us though, so uh there's one last place. Sorry, Kate. Looks Who's like that? one of the jocks did care about Kate. Yeah, cause she can't see us, so he obviously didn't hear. This can only be Nathan's room. The Prescott's rule this town. Okay, I swear to God. Are we gonna break it? Dude, what are you projecting? Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing. Or anything with clues. Joyce. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap, like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know what happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless both of you want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I am trying to be good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forgot you're still teenage adults. Yep. Okay, so diploma. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. This diploma cert uh, certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world by his dad. Maybe he does have parents with him. 
That monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand. I can imagine. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. He has a whole couch. I really hope they were all consenting models. Uh, I do too, to be honest. That is so Chloe. Hey, a-hole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay. Oh my God, Chloe. Oh, okay, it was, I know it was bad, but why is he taking pictures of her like that? Welcome to the boys' dorm. No, I'm not turning that on. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oh, he brought her to his room. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Hmm. Damn, Nathan, that's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I was gonna say, it's his style though. I like the black and white though, I'm not gonna lie. He makes it look good. It's another prescription. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Drinking with, oh, that's not good. Hold on. What are these posters? Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Wow, that's a lot of these. These films all have a dark pattern. Oh, okay. Wait, is oh man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. You know what's weird about it? He just hung it up. He hasn't done anything with it. Like he didn't write on it like he does everything else. That's weird. Holy that's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Okay, so... Wait, can we look at this projector? Yeah, I wanted to look at that. Yes, okay. I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Is there anything on it? Huh. It just looks like more models. Okay, so let's look at this. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Wait, first let me look at let me look at this photo. Is this him and his dad? I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> he wore a sailor suit. His dad's kind of scares me. Not gonna lie. I just look like actually no, he's a terrible person. We know Nathan this. is way into this party. Bad sign. What's up? To Victoria from Nathan. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and picking up some serious pate favors. I even told my dad to keep pig the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without a hassle. If we're going to have the end of the world theme, then let's do it effing on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you and why Kate will get justice. I hate it. It got, the majority is likes. That's- Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Don't worry, from Sean Prescott to Nathan Prescott. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need to calm. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into a room step by step as a bit as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes for to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This whole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't F it up, son, your father. First off, make an appointment to see my own mother and father. No wonder he has issues. Whoa, I don't want to see my forehead and that's exactly not what I wanted. But that's messed up. And Dr. Bill, 
Do- wasn't Dr. Bill the one in the other universe when Chloe was hospitalized, not hospitalized, but when Chloe was paralyzed, um, William and Joyce had um, books by Dr. Bill by being like the best mom. Or Too dad. bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome and far away. Don't worry, to Nathan Prescott, to Chris- from Christine Prescott. Tudo Dem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting sc- sc- scholistic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my coworkers in the Peace Corps that, m- I think it's, yeah, that my talented bro, Nate, got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, Please, 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 please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your A, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Sending out good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. XOXOXO Chris. She does seem nice. And yeah, I think her, his family's the reason, specifically his father's the reason he is. Yes, he sure is. needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Diet pills? Extreme diet supplements available online without prescription. $250 for 100 pills. Why does he think he needs diet pills? Wow. Kiss much, Principal Wells. About the recent events, from Principal Wells to Nathan Prescott. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset why I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you to get distracted from school and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Um, there's nothing else. We scratch from Chloe. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? With the couch. I want to know right now. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. Oh, it's you from him moving the now. now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Oh no. Is it? Th- no, it's this way. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. <gasps> so, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Yup. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the Okay, look at this somewhere else. What if he comes back? (gasps) What if he comes back? What are you doing in my dorm? What are you doing in my dorm? That one time. You're such a nosy Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. (gasps) Ward! Max, I got this. Get the yeah. fuck out of my face. Hey, don't talk to Ward like that. He did what he did to him. I would be you gasping. You are so <gasps> dead. Oh. Quick thinking, Ward. Oh, my God. He's so mad. Uh, he's so mad at him. Why would you give me this decision? I am enjoying... Let's stop, Warren. Um, I think he got a good beating, though. Oh, nice, Warren. Chef's kiss. Warren, stop it! Come on. Oh, oh, my head. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Plus, 
My dad is on his way. You're all He owns you! Thanks, Warren. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. No, he deserved that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that, but come on. War he got beat up by Warren. Warren deserves to get his revenge card. No, we should be better than that. But still, did you see how quick he was when he pulled out the gun? Warren! Damn, that geez. was intense. Warren. Oh, he looks upset. Th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Oh, Warren. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to yeah. know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. That's yeah, true. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. <laughs> <laughs> or should I call the cops on Nathan? You can. No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Let him Warren, go with us. Me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. He kind of needs to stay away find from anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. No. Seriously. I'll call you later. No. Okay, you. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. You are. A <laughs> second favorite character, <laughs> Warren. I feel so bad for him though. Man, that guy is so f in love with you. Uh, yeah. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. He it did. was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Uh, Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. We don't have any. Like Excuse I said, me. Frank wants to see me right now. Wait, is let's that not Nathan? Keep him waiting. Oh, never mind. I thought that was Nathan's other phone. You see how sad Warren looked? He looked. You better kick him to the movies now, I swear. Okay, we're meeting up with Frank. How have these whales- how long does it take for whales to go, you know? Because of all the gas in their stomachs? It's only been like a day, so... Okay. God. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Yup. Well, then help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Oh, um, don't start, Chloe. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. <laughs> Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously, don't. Seriously. No. After Kate, I feel like... Every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way yep. we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. <laughs> yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. Oh, so let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Honestly, I think I think Frank is gonna be okay. Uh, I hope. We kind of made him mad last time. Oh, actually, we 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 re round. Let's look around. The forest seemed quiet. No sign of life or deer. Okay, so I doubt we can go back that far. I'm just making sure I see everything. The fire. There might not be any panda states by Saturday. Stop. Panda states. Thanks to local industry, the shores of Arcadia Bay are now unfit for fish, birds, and even whales. It's time to stop the panda states development that is leading to the destruction of jobs, lives, and resources. Join the peaceful protests at the Panda State HQ. Media and families welcome. Noon, Saturday, October 12th. Dang. This is where my nightmare started. Was it? 
Oh, but yeah, the lighthouse, I know that. Dang. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. Oh, they're studying them, I bet. No worries, sign. No one can even get on the beach, I bet. There's another, we can look at another whale. Um. Oh, let's do it. I need as much pictures as possible. I doubt we need it for anything, but I just want us to make sure I get the pictures. Dang, poor well. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? Yep. Wait, I want to see what other pictures I need. A dog, footsteps. Oh, wait, the footsteps are probably here somewhere. Oh, wait, wrong one. Because... It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. It was oh, weird. Poor little beach ball. Uh, I know. Hold on. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Behold, Frank's beer garden. Oh, come on, Frank. Be better than that. Wait. What was that? That's stinging. What is that? Take the trash out sometime, dude. The litterers, I swear. Okay. Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay, we don't want to go that way. I just want to make sure I get everything, or make sure there's no one to talk to, because last episode, I literally had to restart with everything, and then we found out we could talk to a lady. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets and get drunk. drunk. Yep. Food bowl, I'm assuming for the dog. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadour must be okay. Good doggy. He better be. We didn't do anything to hurt him. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. I'm pretty sure he wants it to stay that way. Uh, was there anything at the back of the RV that we needed to see? No, but it makes me wonder. It's still here? I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. Anything here? I just want to make sure I get everything. Okay, I think you can go inside now. Chloe looks ready to rumble. I'm not. <laughs> Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. Oh my gosh. Should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my <laughs> money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I um... wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. Oh, the journal you is have his. Some serious lady balls. No. What? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I knew. I knew he was we're an okay not guy. Getting you high. No, that's not what we want. Frank, we're not here to get high. Yep. Don't no. Next. You don't look like the type. Okay. Not like Chloe here. So what do you Hardy boys want? <laughs> his references. Just the names oh. of some of your. Clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Um, you already know. We don't want to say you already did. Uh, we're going to be nice about it. We don't want to threaten him. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it, especially from a weirdo like you. Why you know, am I, I weird? You talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... 
Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything no. for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shit as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. True. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You True. snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa, okay. I don't like Frank anymore. Whoa. Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> what? I better rewind right now. The dog came out quick. <laughs> Okay, let's do this again. Man, Listen, never mind. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Watch your mouth. That's Please what it costs Watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. Yeah. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine. <laughs> I'll. Try being like you for a no, change. No, I like her, her, you her, you know, s s side, you know, remarks. I think they're kind of funny. But in this situation, it's not going to fly. Let's get this. I, I don't have the money. I don't know what to pick. We should just say no fight. I didn't hear what he said before. Um, no weapons, close the door, or no fight. No weapons. Let's say no fight. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, okay. we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that sh would be over pretty fast. Don't with me, and I won't return the favor. Okay, understandable. So just the names of some of your. Oh, is are. that all? Oh, so Chloe didn't say it. You already did. Oh no, we didn't. I'm sorry. We should. Listen, I didn't. Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah. Everything's important these days. Okay. But okay. I can tell you're not bullshit me. Okay. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. Uh, no, Chloe we here really, knows all we just about need a little. That, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both oh. of you are giving me a headache. No <laughs> deal. Frank, don't say anything. We didn't come here to fight. This is so okay. much bigger than us. Okay. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a I gun get out. it. I, I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Damn. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Okay, Frank. Okay. You don't look like you could kill a bug. Don't don't I, talk. We don't talk I about it. I try not to, and I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just, dude. Yeah. She was scared. All right. You Holy, pulled your come blade on. on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Okay. Please. Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog is, and Why not? if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. Okay. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Yes. Well, yeah, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Yeah. Dog rescue. He rescued. Papa do is cute. I gave gave it. No, no. Where's the dog rescue? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of. Oh, fight maybe dogs. he wouldn't like that. I don't know. I don't remember liking that last time. That's amazing. No, all right. It was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like okay, like okay. Slaves. Never mind. Maybe it's the right thing. That's how I came to own Pompadour. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is yep. lucky you came. Yep. Home. Maybe we can uh, focus on rescuing Rachel now. Rachel? Oh my God, Chloe! Is that why you're really here? God, yes. we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play? Why did Chloe house? have to open her mouth? Why? He 
he doesn't know we have what we have. So I can't say Rachel's photo or Rachel's letter or why do you hiding seems too aggressive. So I'm going to talk about the bracelet. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell Maybe us. Maybe that wasn't right. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Fuck. Man, oh, there is something again. about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We oh don't my God. have much time, Frank. Rachel needs How you. do I prevent Still this? She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. Dang. And she loved me. No? I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Oh, calm mm. down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Here we go again. <sighs> I'm trying so hard. We went through all of that for nothing. Rachel's. <sighs> Watch Rachel it not be she right. She gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. Ooh. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it anytime and she'll always be Is this be the one? Or finally. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. Aww. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Okay, Frank, come on. I'm shaking. Well, if there's a chance oh, in hell, is. you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, Frank! The dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Dogs can tell, animals can tell. Okay. Frank, you're at my... Ugh. Okay, Frank, you got risen on my... Okay, I kind of like you, Liz. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Okay. Seriously, it's hard to take you care. Which is hard seriously. because kids all the way in here. But I want to. Good luck. Okay, uh, step it up a little bit. Okay, Frank. Oh, that took so long to figure out. Okay, so we got more information. Let me see if there's anything to read. There is. So after getting inside info and insist from the other member of our team, Chloe and I made our way to the boys dorm, aka Nathan's lair. Chloe stood guard out in the hall and I stealthed my way into David's room, David's, Nathan's room. And even though I've become a master spy a, and detective, I still get surprised by things I see or find, like Nathan's seek expressionless bro cave. I was like, it was like walking from light to shadow in a single step. I swear, I could feel the temperature drop at the second I walked in. But then Nathan knows photography and he knows you have to keep the film and equipment chilled. I stored my Insta film hoard in Jefferson's, Mr. Jefferson's classroom. Because he has a lot of film, I'm assuming. Speaking of cold stuff, Nathan's room was layered in creepy stuff. The disturbing but impressive photos, all the evidence from his father's bullying, and probably the most important clue we could ever find. Nathan's phone, likely loaded with messages and mysteries. It's not a good thing that I've internalized spying and stealing so casually over the past week. Everyday hero, am I right? And that's when Nathan Prescott showed up. He looked so wi wild-eyed and out of control that I felt a twinge of sympathy that he clearly needed help. He does. Um, but then I remembered he was also an a-hole and had to be had been extremely dangerous to me, Chloe and Kate. So before I had to rewind, Warren entered the scene and my white knight headbutted Nathan in perfect playback. Payback. I couldn't believe it, neither could Nathan. In fact, Warren literally started to go ape all over Nathan's face. It wasn't cool, but my nerves were so frayed from the week and I was so over all of Blackwell bullies that I almost didn't want to stop Warren from beating Nathan into the floor. Warren has his own issues to work out with Nathan, but this wasn't the time or place. Even if Nathan deserved it, and I would have been happy to watch Warren show him who was a Blackwell boss now. Dang. No messages. Okay. That was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. That is, that is cool. Rachel must have seen something good in him. I think she did. I don't think he was too much a bad guy, but he has his own issues too. What was that? 
Oh, they were just scared. Kali seems upset. I can't blame her. She, I, we're almost close to finding Rachel, hopefully. I want to see what's in that phone. Don't tape it. I want to see what's in it. Ooh, I have Chloe, shivers. are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. Oh, my back is killing me. I better okay. focus on this board and start tying these clues together. It's hard to tie clues together. Frank text me? Hi, Max. Just wanted to see how the search was going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if both if you both want a party. And good luck. See, Frank has grown on me. I'm sorry. Um, we're on page 58. She has written 58, 59, 62. Three pages! After that dorm brawl, Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we could get him to join us. I had to be careful not to get him all tweaked out. He was pretty pissed that someone had gotten into his RV and borrowed his account book. But once we, he saw that we didn't care about drugs or money, only Rachel, he mellowed out. Oh, so he know, he knows someone stole it. Good thing I didn't say anything because he would have known we stole it. All I could think was, I'm trying to get a drug dealer to help me find a missing girl. Incredibly, Frank actually agreed to help. He knows how naive and clueless we are, so I hope that our sincerity swayed him. I'm still unsure about him, and I can't be so naive not to keep my rewind guard up. Uh. Excuse me. I don't know how much I don't know much about him except that he sells drugs, has a wicked temper, and that he loved Rachel even more than his beans. So we get to add another member to our team. Booyah! My life feels so surreal at this point. I don't know how to react anymore. I can rewind time and space, but it is aging me before my own time and space. Am I learning things I shouldn't? Messing up too much shit? I cussed, including my own history. Obviously, my nosebleeds and dizzy spells are a bad sign that I'm overusing my powers, but it become, but it's become a, almost a part of my nature. Or maybe a habit? Power corrupts? Not yet, I hope. I remember this famous episode of the original Star Trek where K Kirk has, ooh, has to go back in time and let the person he loves die so the Nazis won't win the war. What kind of effed up choice is that? What would happen if I had not been in school, the school bathroom to save Chloe that day? But damn it, I was there, and thus I was supposed to be there. Destiny. And the fact that we were able to convince Frank to actually help us, give us the gave us, gives us the most hope I've had in a while. Yes, Chloe and I were stupid to confront Frank like that, considering how we reacted before, but I don't see how anyone could say he didn't really love Rachel Amber. It's true, he seems like he loves her. Okay. <laughs> He shouldn't have pulled a knife on Chloe though, and I don't like that he sells all these dangerous meds to teenagers, especially Nathan. He needs to, he needs psych psychiatric supervision, not just baggies of pills. At least he won't be going to Frank anymore. Oh, again. I still don't know why Chloe or Rachel even, oh, I still don't know why Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, but I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't left town, I'd be less judgmental. But now we have Nathan's phone, David's coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clues, which brings us closer to finding Rachel Amber. Finally. Finally. So maybe the tide is finally turning, or time is finally turning. Okay. Let's look at Frank's clues. Gather info on a character by selecting all of the correct clues for each section. There is a specific number of clues to select. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. When is that? Uh, let's look at his, uh, select. Middle mouse, okay. Um, I don't know. Oh, we can look at him first. Rot uh. must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. So how many times he's in it? 
Uh, oh, that's just whose name. So we might need that, I think. I think we probably need that. Let's look at this. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. I don't think this has significance with what we're actually looking for. So I think. what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. I think he probably said something. The picture so doesn't matter. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel or protect her. That's sad. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. I don't. That sounds bad, right? but I don't. David Madsen, Nathan Prescott. Um, I don't know if we need that. Um, maybe we do. Okay, this is just sad, Max. Okay, do you like that? I think it's this. Game is on. Okay. I now, thought we had three, so I was confused. To us account book. Tell us everything. Okay. Ooh. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Vortex Club, let me look. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. So Chihuahua is. I gotta write stuff down because I feel like. Um, we'll write down the most important people, you know? So like, Kate, although it's weird that he calls her Katie. Why is she even in it? When does she ever use the drug from him, you know? So Chihuahua is Kate. You know, I give, I give um, Frank prompts for <laughs> knowing how to spell Chihuahua. Uh, Mrs. Fancy Cat. Nacho, Joseph, Mike, Stella, Simon, Logan, Steve, Nathan is Rod. I like how he names them after dogs. Uh, Stifler, Justin, Chloe is Bulldog. I don't know if Chloe has anything to do with it, but we'll write her just in case. Uh, Bruce, Johnny, Nicholas, Glenn, and Tonk. So I don't think we need anybody else. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Um, so this one's Boxer, Bulldog, Beagle, Dutch Hound, Rot. Um, so this one at 9.30. Um, this one has him in it, so. Wait, it was Bulldog? Um, no. Okay, so the first Everybody one. in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Chihuahua, gas station, three seats, blue sunshine, acid. Kate! <laughs> Chihuahua, so Kate, um, so we found him on the first page and we found Kate on the second. That's what I'll write. Just, I don't know if Kate or anyone has to do anything, but we'll see. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Green dream again. She's on it again. Unless this Katie is someone else. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Ooh. Party supplies, no doubt. Yep. So he's on the fourth page. Do that fourth. He's on it twice. Once, once. Okay. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. She's on it again. Third, four, three, four, five. Okay, and the last one. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. One, two, three. He's on it three times. I'm assuming we're just looking for Nathan. So he's on select. He's on one, four, and six. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Would Frank appreciate you ripping up his book like that? Okay, so I don't think we need it. 
you know, you know. Okay, so let's move on to David's. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Did, so, so uh, look. Look at all three. these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. So it's, uh, what's his license plate? It's T, D T, D it looks like Twilight. It looks, like it, it's Twilight Zone shortened. Kate's picture wouldn't have anything to do with it. Uh, we'll look at the RV. Um, let's look at this. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. No, this doesn't matter, I don't think. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Mm. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? We need three. I think, what's the coordinates? I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. So it's definitely this one. I think this one and this, this one's not any help, but I'm gonna pick it. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about- I'm surprised I got here. that. Okay, so David's clue, let's investigate more. I hey, like now this. How do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? <laughs> I didn't think I'd need my <laughs> notebook again. Okay, so coordinates, we don't need that yet. Coordinates, we need three clues. Uh, look. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating as usual okay what's this that's this is the definitely bedroom. chloe's car yes it is okay so this is his interesting is this nathan's car this is his and i think it's twice i think it's his at least there's nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open okay maybe i should have let warren beat nathan's ass down just this once. I think he did a good job. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Oh, they're different. So we have Twilight Zone. And S X F T N D R. They look the same. My oh boy. They are the same, are they? Is this Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Hold on a second. I mean, unless it's not it, the only other car that we've seen is Mr. Sh Mr. Jefferson in his car, and they drove away from the principal when they were talking. I don't remember if that's his or not, though. Huh. Who else was David tracking here? We need three, so I don't know which one's... Nathan, I think, is the Twilight Zone, so... Yep, another car David was tracking. I think... Um, Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? I think Twilight Zones is Nathan's. I don't know who these other people are, so I think I'm gonna pick this one. This one, and this one. Looks like this is not relevant at all. How? Um, um, then. I don't know. Maybe this one? Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Oh, fail. Abort. Wrong clues. I'm confused. Wait. Let me look at this picture again. This one's not his, is it? I... Wait. Wait. His is broken, isn't it? 
Yes, so this one's not his. Deselect. It's this one. It's this one over here. His isn't the Twilight Zone one. Nope. Maybe I should try to oh other clues together. No, 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 no. I didn't dislike this one. Which one's this one? His is the S, S, I think. No, wait. <laughs> now I'm confused. Look. Yeah, his is the S. Um. No, so it's this one. Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. That took a while. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Wait! I didn't get to look at, a. Uh... Or is this just finding more clues? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So we found those, and last but not least, Nate, this is what I've been waiting for. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Let's look oh, at it. There has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. A code. Okay. So let's look at his student file, which we know about. There's a lot of numbers in here. Oh no. It could be his date of birth. Um, so August. Wait, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, the 8th. So 8. And then 29, 1995. Wow, this is some weird ways to write. I don't think it's the phone numbers. I'm just going to write his birthday. He has a 3.7 GPA. Not that that matters, but you never know. Okay, so let's look at the flyer. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? He did. We already know. If there pictures. is a dark room, we better find it. He it's wrote that and Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. An insane amount of times. Okay, what's this? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. He has circled one. He circled 9535. So what we'll do is 005. 8398. A five two five four two. That was on one line. And we have nine five three five four four three six and fifty four thirty one. But he circled a five nine five three five. So we'll circle it two and five four two. Wait, we got that. Um, what about this? Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Sim pin? One, 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 one. <laughs> uh, but there's also a thing down there. It's 8789780. Oh, okay. Um, so let's select. Um, select. Oh, we're doing everything with numbers, so. And this one. I probably didn't have to okay, write Max. it down. <laughs> Let's blow this code up and go home. I think it's that 9535 that he circled, so. Let's start hacking. Nathan. I'm not gonna read that. That's too many words that I can't say. You. F up my dorm dorm door, I kill your scholarship. Dude. Maybe you should tell us everything then. Maybe it's his maybe it's 829. I didn't even think of that. Okay, let's try 829 first. Aha! It was 829 his birthday, but not the year. Um What up? Need the G. Okay, cool. You sold me water, a hole. Calm down, bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away. Pigs on the beach. Okay. Yes. 
This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home? Got a party tonight. Home. On the way, load the bowl. <sighs> Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. <sighs> he didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score ASAP. I don't ha I don't make house calls. You have a car. No time, charge me double. Damn right, have cash on you. No effing around. Give me the address. I'll call I'll call to give you the exact directions. In transit, get the money out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? Know what you need. Peruvian flake, skittle acid. You're playing nice night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff? You home? Yes, don't come. God, Aww. Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. Now. Calm yourself. You tweaking? Soon. Hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Keep your mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your A. I know where you sleep. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who gets things done on his own? Express, impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. Not there yet. That's at the... I thought there'd be more like photos or something. So, investigate everything. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Uh, do you see how much there is? Let's start at the top. transaction the beach is the only way i can look at house calls house calls wait hey i need to score i don't make house calls you have a car no time charge me double damn it cash on you maybe that one and then what's the date on that it's 10 10 24 p.m about 10.24 and 10.34. So let's look at these. No. No, that's too early. AM, and that's not even the right date. No. 
No. PM. This one. Probably. Okay, so last thing. His house. He said he doesn't make house calls. <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Then this one? It was. Okay. Chloe. This is definitely the place. Oh, that, we think I thought it was here. Okay, guys. I I, I nope. like Chloe. No. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some old barn. Maybe there's something at the barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. Seriously. I'm on this. Hold on. You, just because it's just empty doesn't mean anything. That's a most most Somebody of the time people named go somewhere. Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Harry Aaron Prescott. Should we call the police? F that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? Yeah. That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since I don't mind kicked Nathan's Warren. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I can't. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Mm-hmm. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay. My whole chair is squeaking because now I'm uncomfortable. Why did I decide to wear shorts on a leather chair? Ooh, I'm ready. I hope we find a lot. This is scary. I know. But we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Best way in? Okay. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. So hopefully nobody shows up. Oh, the no. bugs. Why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty park? Good question. Thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved a beat down, but I don't want to stoop to his level. Besides, somebody is going to kick his ace sooner than later. You're wise. You're wise, grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You still paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, promise. Cool. Now I have to calm myself down. And thanks for leaving your mark on my door. I'll never erase it. You are you better not. It's permanent. Oh, so he knew it was us. That's sweet. Yo. No trespassing. What good load? That helps. Watch us. <laughs> Yeah, we're entering, sorry. Anything? Oop, I'm assuming that is. It's a squirrel. Whose barn is that? Oh, it's also tore down. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. You never know, though, you never know. I'm looking on the ground because... Baby, I'm not even here. It flew away. I'm a hallucination. How was I supposed to get a picture of it if it flies away? I want to be able to get all the pictures, but honestly, I'm not going to waste my time on that. If it is, it's not coming back. It's not coming back. I found the front door. Come on. Let's see what we find. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is 
way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps <laughs> all over. The amount of... Come on, Supermax. There's photos behind you. The amount of references they make hey, in this check movie. check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. Hmm. Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. What? Why can't I look for clues? Nothing new, okay. I'm okay with that. I don't yes, feel like- old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Well, I don't think he took that of himself. This tractor has paid its dues. <laughs> no more secrets, Sean Prescott. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Hmm. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. July 22nd, 1903. Martin Lewis Prescott, Prescott Ranch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Dearest Mr. Linden, I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts that have been chosen to that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may have not may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take our silence we take your silence as a personal insult, and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with ten percent interest plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end end if if the day July 24th, in the year of our Lord, 1903, rest assured we will make our life, your life a living hell. 1903? I didn't even realize I said that. Kindest regards, MLP. My little ponies. I'm kidding. Um, okay. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. That's how it was back in the day. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. You don't know. Maybe someone's used them. Nothing. Pitchfork. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. <laughs> That's if. Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. I'm looking. Just rotting wood. Um. Well, hold on. I'll look at that in a second. I feel like that's where we need to go. Is that? These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the Thirteenth movie. Ah, the good old days. Pallard's Market, Arcadia Bay. Eggs, 14 cents. Bacon, 70 cents. Sugar, 50 cents. Coffee, $1. Cocaine, $2. Tobacco, 75 cents. Milk, 60 cents. It was back in the day. Things were a lot. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, oh, okay. so few needles. So... No more secrets, Sean Prescott. This is it. What is Oh What <gasps> is this? Um, it's totally brand new. Why? A crate. Ah, the oh, good old days. I read that. I thought it was something new. I just want to see. We didn't check the ground over here. I just want to make sure I find everything. Oh, no, because we found it. It's something else. Okay, so I think that's it. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. So I'm assuming we need the pitchfork. 
Why'd you look up at that? Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. <sighs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Okay. Chloe, can you give me a hand? <laughs> Teamwork! Sidekick at your service. <gasps> They're doing a six of mono. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Let's hope this doesn't break on us while we're here, though. Um, what are we? Oh. Oh, are we gonna break into it or? That looks sturdy enough to stand on. You're gonna what? What are you gonna do? She oh, she's gonna pull it. You try to use it, I think. Um, don't we go to this? I'm confused. Take a photo. <laughs> I'm not even gonna look at it. No, that's not what we came here for, though. Do not fall. I can't even if I wanted to, even if I wanted to. What do I do? Oh. Here's the other end of the rope. I'm confused, guys. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Oh. I didn't know we were supposed to rewind. Assuming we're supposed to push it, pull. Oh, it breaks into it. Okay. Oh, so that didn't work at all. The hook is attached pretty tight to the rope. I could use it to open the hatch. So I gotta get back down. That was a super powered move. Okay, so. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The hook is attached pretty tight to the rope. I could use it to open the hatch. Wait, so what do you want me to? Oh my, there are so many instructions. To open the hatch. Oh, I see, I see. Yep, I see. Yep, it'll pull it. Now we gotta go back up. <laughs> Chloe's probably like, oh, what the heck is going on? How did you, uh. <laughs> Wait, we do that. Wait, we need to get... Wow. We do need to get up there first. Skip. Uh, platform. Climb. This is a lot of work just to get something open. Tell me if you need any help. Um... Oh, it's attached. Uh, 
Okay, I'm ready. What's in this bunker? Max Giver strikes again. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Skip. Let's see what's in here. Damn, this is heavy. Heck yeah. What? What the what heck? Is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Hmm. Let me have control. I want to go to. Is there anything? Okay, no. I don't care about the picture right now. What I care about is seeing what's in here. This bunker is so surreal. Holy <sighs> moly. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. What code? First a padlock, then a digicode. You can see what codes they use. Someone really doesn't want visitors. Two, four, five. So it's three letters. Wait, wait. Oh, I thought maybe we wrote down the code. Um, what's more? Let's try five, four, two, five, two, four. Wrong code. Mm. My gosh, I have to go through everything. Oh, yes. <laughs> I did not I expect me to get it. I was just like, oh, this is going to take a while. Open sesame. Oh, no. What is this? It's like a bunker? Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. I want to look around. Now what the hell is this? Water supplies. It's hmm. like in David's garage bunker. No, I don't think it's David, to be honest. More survivalist supplies. He would need to call a hotel. He would have just stayed here. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Unless it is David? I don't think so. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality. Even if he acts in a personable manner, you have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about the matter, I'm always available. Best, Dr. Jacoby. Dang. I'm saying it. His parents do not care. Duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad It sign. always is. The only other place we found duct tape is Mr. Jefferson's room, but I didn't. I can't see this being Nathan's. Nothing about Rachel here. I don't... Nathan takes pictures like this, but I don't think it's Nathan. I feel like maybe this affects him, but... I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Maybe it is. I can't see it being him, though. He's too not okay, you know? <sighs> that son of a bitch. Howard Warwick Construction, Stormbreaker Bunker, full estimate, 1,350,650. Contract Insurer Sean Prescott. Holy cow. 
Talk about tortured. Yeah, these pictures are uh, interesting. It's the files we kept seeing at the end. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. And Victoria's in okay. it. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No, God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. Oh my God! Oh, was it Nathan? Are filled with other victims. <sighs> There's no Victoria way. Has to be That's next. too many. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel, this can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan. Paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She oh posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. I want to search more. I'm not ready to leave yet. Oh my god. Right. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Oh, Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, That's... I can't believe it's real. I can't. Unless he stood the camera up. I, I mean, yeah. That's a, so he took a picture with her? Oh, look at... Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. I... What does the note say? Can I read the note? Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can F it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let it guide you or you're on your own. This has to be Nathan then because this is everything is his. But look how many people there are. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Oh, my knees. I cannot believe- I'll use the computer last. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. I- is it weird? I have a feeling it's not, Nathan. These but newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Arcadia Bay Beacon, Rachel Amber officially confirmed missing. The Blackwell Totem, the spirit of news since 1898. Search continues for popular Blackwell student by Juliet Watson. Arcadia Bay Beacon, Blackwell student saved from rooftop suicide. Huh. Somebody likes their whiskey. Oh, I think the only person we know who drinks is the principal, though. Oh, it's just giving a very, uh... That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. I was gonna say, I don't mind artwork like that, but in this situation, it kind of makes me feel iffy. Needles. Gross. Yeah, this is bad. Ew, this this is disgusting. Yeah, he has a tripod, so maybe so he did. He's using this fancy tripod. Oh, lordy. We should probably close this so people don't know we're here. Well, Nathan, I guess, isn't over here. Let's use this. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. 
just a picture of Kate. That's all we can look at. This is honestly sick. I'm like shocked. Nothing else we can look at. Oh. Is it bad that I don't? I mean, there's obviously proof that Nathan was here. I feel like a bad person is saying, I don't think, never mind. I can't say I don't think Nathan's doing it because there's no way, there's no way anyone else could be doing it. Nathan and his family have money, unless it's his family or his dad or something. Boy, slow down. Wait for me. Yeah, you, where, you don't even know where the dick site exactly is. I know exactly where I'm going. Oh, never mind. It sucks. She's been here so many times and Rachel's just been here. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you going to help me, Max? Oh my god, I swear. Please stop. Look. <gasps> no. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. No, Rachel, no, no. Please, no. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sure there's supposed to be music here, but... Chloe. <laughs> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. So they, I'm so sorry. They found her body. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? But whoever did this, why didn't they do the same thing to Kate? Who does this? Why was it just Rachel? That we know of. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Oh, the deer, the doe. I don't know what to say because Two moons. I am all over the place. I feel so bad for Chloe because she loved Rachel. Loves Rachel. And she literally just Chloe found her body. Joyce's last party. Chloe, so we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Seriously. The police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. That's true. How can you trust the? Right. I mean, at least let the police know you found the body. I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't believe they just found Aunt Rachel. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. I can't blame her for not You're caring. Not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Oh lordy. My my stomach is literally churning. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. Oh no, we're in strong. Glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Oh, yeah, we learned that. 
I wanted to believe he was a deranged, but it makes sense. I didn't see him at the dorm again. Man, Nathan, I oh, dude, have you been drinking? He's sick. Well, literally. Consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? Oh my God, Chloe's gonna get mad. I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have take something a for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh, He's drunk off a half a beer. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra- Oh, don't be mean to Warren. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey. We still need your expert help. If you mm -hmm. see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. Yep. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Oh, not to me, Ryan. Yeah, you tell Too him. Soon. Tell him he has importance because. <sighs> Poor Warren. Uh, is that the end? I don't oh, okay. Hi. So they had the party at the pool, weirdos. We never met up with no, her to I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. We never met up okay, with her. Chloe, where the hell are you? She just went in. Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Stella. That's what they're here for. I guess. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy <laughs> creeps me out. Yeah. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. That's Chloe. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. Yep. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Okay. Me no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. <laughs> I can't blame her. I... Who hired you? I don't care about that. Did you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. Yep. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. I agree. guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns and out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Uh, we okay? found a body. Um, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, <laughs> not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Okay. Thanks. So that's all here. Whoa! Do you see the way her eyes? Okay, so we just go in. This is gonna be impossible. I love this song. Oh. It just sounds like a loud party because. Jeez. I don't have the music on. Who's Allison? Or Alyssa? Okay, tab. Okay. After everything that happened with Frank, I had to convince Chloe to keep going forward with me, since I do feel we're at the end of the road. Hopefully not the end of the world, but whatever anger Chloe has inside her that makes her so self-destructive is matched by her balls of bravery. Yes, Chloe has gotten me nearly killed, but I don't know, but I know she would die for me, and I can't forget I put her in a wheelchair and to slowly die in another reality. And Chloe is more focused now than ever before. I told her we have to keep moving forward no matter what, and I couldn't find Rachel on my own. 
that was enough. Now it's time to shine the light into the dark room. Chloe and I loaded up our coordinates and hit the road. We were both quiet yet excited. It's hard to explain the feeling, even with all the horrible things happening. I found myself thinking that Chloe and I were part of some greater mystery and it, that involved time, space, and all of our fates. I've never had much faith, not the, the Kate Marsh kind anyway, but I couldn't believe we were being set up for doom after everything that's happened this week, but I wasn't prepared for the dark room. The coordinates led us to an old abandoned farm owned by the Prescott family, and I shouldn't have been surprised that it was actually housing a weird secret bunker that was filled with Prescott memorabilia and worse. If there was an evil ground zero, this place was it. Cupboards filled with name red binders that confirmed our worst nightmares. Not that I even had any clue that our amateur detective work would lead us to this kind of professional hell. When I saw the binder marked Victoria, my heart started pounding like a jackhammer. Then I had a real clue what was coming. I don't even want to think about the images we saw of Kate Marsh posed, posed unconscious with the, that mother effer, Nathan Prescott. She didn't know the truth about what happened to her, even if she couldn't remember all the awful details. And then Rachel Amber, the likely composed photographs of her drugged and all over Nathan like some kind of sick goth couple. I couldn't bear to look at Chloe's face as she looked at the photos of her abused angel. I feel nauseated, nauseated, nauseated. All the hope I was feeding Chloe felt like vapor, and then we saw exactly where Nathan had taken his vicious layout with poor Rachel in the junkyard. We finally found Rachel Amber, dead and buried. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry, William. F you, Arcadia Bay. High school should be the best years of your life, I've heard over and over from my parents and other experts. F do they know? Tell that to Ra uh, Rachel Amber or Kate. I've never seen Chloe so cold and hard. She won't let go of the gun. So we have to find Nathan before Chloe kills him. And if that happens, it will be hard to rewind. But we're so close to the end of this nightmare as possible. So I have to block out those images of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber that will be burned into my retinas forever. There's still a final secret to uncover and nothing is going to stop us now. Not even a goddamn tornado. Chloe and I pulled up to Blackwell's parking lot and arrived at the end of the world party. Oh, the irony. We had to get rid of the poor, of poor Warren Fast, who wanted to bask in his alpha glory and hang out with Chloe and me. I can't put it, another one of his my friends in danger. So bizarro to see all that students dressed up in expensive outfits or pre-Halloween costumes, talking and laughing and smoking and drinking, as if there wasn't a serial killer going to the same party or the town was in eco danger. Lordy. We need to find Nathan and take him down. I got to turn this. Um, so everyone knows us. I don't think we could go this way. Justin it's said so somebody nice to saw chat up another anime geek. Oh yes, Justin. I'm a multi-purpose geek. I'm glad I talked Daniel into coming. <laughs> Just to see him flirt with Brooke. Aww. Yeah, Hi, Daniel. But so am I. Yes! Max makes an entrance. <laughs> I'm glad da Daniel's party having fun. Because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Um, Your face I'm fine. Is so serious. It is. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end, for Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale brain. <laughs> I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. No, Thanks, we already Daniel. ruined Brooke's kind of... I have to stay on my mission now. Yep. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. <laughs> Adios. Why do they act like they're never going to see each other again? <laughs> Are you and Brooke flirting? Right on. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. Uh, I had to. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. She does not I like us. That scrub. Just Andrew's because club. Warren likes us. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. <laughs> have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, 
That that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guide. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl <laughs> would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You yeah. seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. That's because she is. I think that's snow and eclipse. Some respect on her name. Powers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was. Um, maybe you should like us well, then. The night is still young, Brooke. Yep. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Oh, now that she's talking to Daniel, she seemed no nicer seems to us. to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? She doesn't look happy. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. Yup. There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Yeah, she doesn't look happy. I'd pay money to see Warren kicking Nathan's ass. Oh, told everyone. I just oh, it's Luke. Days. Kick Nathan's ass. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. <laughs> I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided oh. almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? No big deal. Dangerous. I'm gonna tell him. I want to make sure he's not gonna do anything tonight. Yep. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Uh, Warren did. Sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean was so loud. To drive all of us out of town or into Pan States. I met him once at a Bigfoot's game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. I was gonna say he's. A, I think Nathan's only the way he is because okay, he's dead. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. For helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. Aw, I'm glad that she made friends. Bigfoot on otter action. Oh. Ew. It's a skate throw. Good grief. Give the girl a break. <gasps> we gotta rewind. How do you. She always Whoa. is in the middle of stuff. Of course, my object angel is stuffed up every single <laughs> time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank also, I again, love her Mr. outfit. Max. Let's talk to. We didn't. Luke, Max, you're. I just want to make sure I talk to people so they remember. I know we I remember, want... but. Like... Okay. I had to go around you guys. Oh my gosh. Let's speak Look to her. Let's shake that booty. She's not doing anything. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here. What's next? I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. Well, it she doesn't do anything me bad. Me like quote by Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. <laughs> I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I... I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Black yeah, she's would cool. would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. Yeah, that's You're not gonna a great happen. start, Max. Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. 
I was ready to duck. <laughs> Didn't think you'd come back. <laughs> uh. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. She was friends. She's friends I with Kate, so... I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She yep. seems much better and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate Finally. Kate deserves that. They were rude to her. Kate deserves revenge. Um, we have to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else at Blackwell. Well, yeah. I can tell you know some serious shit by your face. You don't have to tell me now, but please let me know if I can help, like you helped me. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's mm. a New York club. Of Thanks, course. Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Uh, I can't always be there, though. Okay. Let's see if we can get in here. Um. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Those are tiny. Well, I guess you could put them around yourself, though. Okay. Hey, Max, what are you doing in here? If I get sick oh, now, I can drink more later. Why are y'all all in here? Oh, God, Super Max God, lives. Oh, don't put yourself down. Why does she do that? Okay, we don't need to know these. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Lordy. Um. I mean, I'm never I, leaving this toilet. I would look at it, but Justin's life. just a little buzzed. A little? Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. How would Wanna we see it? Ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. Why is she yelling? Yeah, not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where well, else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides. Dana is here. Wait, isn't Zach with Dana? with me. So yes, Aww. this party sucks. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, <laughs> came over to cry like a little bitch. Oh, poor Justin. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin, but you're a cool, considerate guy and you're gonna find somebody just as cool. Yeah. Minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. Everyone keeps saying your that. Voice sounds different. <laughs> you okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, I'd love to, but I'm I can't. Cool, Justin, and I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking a, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. I doubt he's gonna work. Too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. I don't need to ask him anything else. Ew. Why is everyone kill the Prescotts? Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Gross. How did this even get here? for like an hour. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Good night, sweet prince. Is he asleep? Someone help him. Okay, so... Back to this loud... Loudness... VIP only. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Oh, is this what she mean I was on the list? Am I on the VIP? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Oh, yeah! I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. I nice am. Time. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. 
I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. I'm on that list. So... Hey, you're supposed to be helping me. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> She's wearing the same thing. To the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP. I tried lounge. to get in. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. Ooh. She thinks she's Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max. Yeah. Factor. <laughs> Get let's it? do it. Hey, Sarah. Um, Do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> You're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just. I Oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Uh, I don't want to be in here, but oh well. There's Hayden, Hayden in there. Is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Taylor. Thank you so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. Kate, I was so happy to see your smile again. You mean so much to me and so many others. I have to go, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought me by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will. Call me soon. As soon as you can. Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine is by me. me. He's been getting like or too buggy and kind of scary. All? Victoria might know. I am so wasted. How has I'm Nathan been scary? So I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in the Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Yep, gotta learn. Everyone's here. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. Avoid any Check drink if you drink don't know has not Nathan been. Now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. That's good. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Of course. Um... Yo, Super Max. Come hang with us. She's wasted, and is nobody that... is looking out for her. Damn. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Talking with my ladies. A bomb. <laughs> Give me a break. Everybody here all fuzzy. Hayden. Surprise, Hayden is trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, look. Oh, this guy. It's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No. I want to find Nathan. Me too! He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Oh my gosh, Nothing. I gotta leave. You're talking too slow. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you can sit No, I'm leaving because you're talking way too slow for me, Aiden. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Oh, Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. 
Try it sometime, Max. I can't. I found another body. You and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Seriously. Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. I'm good. No. I'm good. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Seriously. Again. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Did you hear something? I'm trying not to. Oh. No, Logan, you are not getting any action tonight. I will talk to them last. worse than my dad. Yes. I'm glad Dana. Dana. Trevor. <laughs> Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. Aww. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? I do want to warn no, Victoria. No matter how much she doesn't like us. Dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. That's good. And he knows how to be safe. I That's hear you, really Dana. good. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. She's right. But I don't know if I trust him. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The yeah. Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. <laughs> that sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. Yeah. He's just having fun. That VIP section the Vortex so Club lame. actually hired DJ Doom for the party. Who pays for all this shit? I feel selfish going to a party. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge for her or something. No, we don't Zachary, like Zachary. If you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. Yep. And we can find a way. Wow, I'm here. I'm not sitting. Okay, let's go talk to Victoria. Let's speak to Logan. Is that his? Nope. Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. No. Uh, no. I owe you nothing. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with me? I don't want to hang with him. Why? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. Yeah. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see me, Max? You're so cute. And we never really talk. Talk about what? Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Oh my god, Logan, this is why. You make me hurt. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. Okay, let's look and talk Here's to her. The queen bee. I'm kind of scared to talk to her because we do have to warn her. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologize to you the but other But you day, took it back! Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate yeah. first tried to kill herself in front of you. And uh -huh. me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Don't even try. You were part of the problem. 
I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. And then why did it happen? Wine and got stupid. And why didn't you take More it down? Stupid. It's mean. Hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. Mm -hmm. yep. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. Well, I'm not you... evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria. But I don't understand you. Yeah, I don't. That makes she makes no Max. sense. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what? I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. Okay, we gotta warn her. You suck, you have talent. We'll you say that. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Look at me. I got the judge of the contest suspended. <laughs> True. Point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. <laughs> Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Girl, I'm trying to warn you that your doom is... The dark room. Don't warn her. No, I want to tell her! Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious... Even if she doesn't believe us. She knows I we know tried. Nathan is your... Friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. I'm a little confused with that but too, but... it was but... enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. I know, oh my gosh. Like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You know he's been acting different. You bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserve But I wasn't. It. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. You haven't been showing it. But cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks. And I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. Mm -hmm. He's not here and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight. Okay? Right? I yep. let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go yes. to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um. Excuse me. Text me if you need anything. I will. See, I knew Thanks not taking a picture over her. When that paint happened, would get us somewhere. Oh, there's Chloe. She was in the Vortex Club member. Oh, VIP. Excuse me. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. Oxygen Here kit. You. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Why is Mr. Jefferson Maybe here? He's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So Why is Miss? Oh, uh, Why are you here? Hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this Why afternoon. is he here? He seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, Why'd he hesitate? That makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I do wish you would have entered. 
You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you I have will. bigger Wait, issues to I worry so. about. Okay, I found a dead body. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay. That was unnecessary. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, Why do we have I to watch him win? The party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, I guess we're watching. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Why is she so want to watch? She never is the entered. Most important step in being an artist: sharing your work with the world. Hmm. All of you represent Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. This party never should have happened. I'm just as saying. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. Stop trying and to butter up the crowd. Come on. Oh my, what a shocker! Victoria Chase. Uh, I'm actually happy for her. I feel like she actually put the whole... Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was Unless... your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. Okay. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell. And I can't wait for her to come back. I can't tell she's being jokingly with Thank this you. or being honest. Stop, Victoria. Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. I don't think she blackmailed him. Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Okay, let's see if there's more written down. There is, okay. Um, next. As if to remind me of Arcadia Bay's ticking doomsday clock, I saw two moons in the sky over the horizon. Or that's what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. I squinted and actually rubbed my eyes like a dork just to make sure my, ir my iris wasn't foggy. Was this another sign or an, an environmental illusion? Other people saw it too, except Chloe didn't see anything besides vengeance. So she went into the gym looking for Nathan before I could catch up. Nathan doesn't know what he's running out of time to. No irony intended, we are. My first and last Vortex Club party, flashing lights in a DJ doom, no comment, spinning in. In an alternate reality, I might have been a, I've been at this party, standing in the corner, shy and nervous, waiting for somebody to ask me to dance, but being terrified is if that happened. And that would have been the limits of my problems. Now look at me, but I have to find Chloe first. Then Nathan before the shot, before she shot him. No matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she actually, she actually just a ter terribly insecure person with talent, passion, and a tendency to be a cruel dick for no re good reason. I have to see beyond our, our petty mean girl drama and assume she has a role to play in all of this too. So we talked like human beings and I warned her, without specifics, about Nathan. She believed me and it felt so warm to be to make a connection with the, my previous enemy. A silver a sliver of light in all this darkness, let there be more. No, no. Oh Christ, Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Why the junkyard though? Wouldn't the evidence be at that bunker? Uh, that moon is glitching. <laughs> oh, it's disappeared. Now it's just one moon? Stop it looks like it. around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Okay. Is 
so creepy out here. Oh, you scare me. Max, when we catch Nathan, you better be one so I can kill him over and over. Look, we can't track Nathan if you're not going to be cool. I don't know where to look. I hate the junkyard because it's so... Maybe we should have called the police. Nope, I don't want to go there. <sighs> okay. Somehow this is worse at night. Where are you? Ooh. Mitchell, I will get your revenge. I swear. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. I'm following her because I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Oh. Oh no, oh no. I'm nervous. Chloe, come over here. Quick. Is her body gone? Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. I don't think it's don't there. Worry, Chloe. I think he was talking about at the bunker. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look out! What the fuck? He shot her? Where did he get another gun? Right in the head! He shot her right in the head. Chloe. Um. So Chloe's just dead? Oh my god, what an asshole. <gasps> no, no, wait a second. I knew so. Mm. Wait, so how? I'm confused. I'm confused. I am... So it was Mr. Jefferson. I didn't like him, but I didn't... Mm. You refused Chloe's request. Most people accepted it. Most people stopped Warren. No one got hurt. Good. 70%. Okay. Yes. I saved the blue jay. I didn't disturb the bird's nest. I found David's code. Wait, you couldn't have opened that? But then that kind of ruins the investigation, doesn't it? Kate helped you find Nathan's room. You motivated Daniel to attend Vortex Club party. Most people didn't. I left the message on Warren's slate. I figured out Nathan's pin. Most people didn't, so they just didn't go in? I'm so confused. You helped Alyssa, of course. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wait, Chloe's dead. We didn't rewind, so Chloe's dead. I knew. The art should have looked familiar. On the campus, his art was everywhere, and it was in black and white like that. Just like Nathan. Of course they wanted to put, oh my gosh. I, sh I knew it. It's Everything seemed too organized for it to be Nathan. That was it? Okay, so we have her, the storm is coming. Then we have the, the, and then this. 
I'm at a loss for words. But why is he doing this? That's what I'm confused with. And why is Nathan helping him? Because Nathan was in the picture with Rachel when they were going to bury her. And not to mention, he helped pay for everything. So does Mr. Jefferson have a hold on Nathan over something? Blackmail, of course. And not to mention, why did he kill Rachel? Did he kill any other any other victims? But then that doesn't explain why he let Kate go. So why why Rachel? Why did he kill Rachel? And why is he using Nathan? I I had an inkling it wasn't Nathan. I, I assumed it was probably his dad or somebody else of importance. I can't say the principal. We haven't really seen him much, but if it was, it would have made sense too. But he's a sloppy drunk. Nathan's not, He's his room's kind of neat, but he still has things, you know, screwed around. His mind's all the way there. I can't see him holding oh, that organized bunker, by. but Mr. Jefferson would. So that makes sense. That makes me so mad because I never liked him from the start. Everyone seems to love him and I didn't like him. He was too egotistical and he was too rude and too childish. I cannot... And Chloe, I just started to like Chloe. I finally started to like Chloe. And you're telling me she's dead? Because we didn't rewind and he shot her in the head. But why kill Chloe and only drug us? Um, is it because she had a gun? I... There's so much to unpack here. Kate, glad we got to see her. That's good and all. But I'm more confused at this end now because why would Mr. Jefferson have to do all this? Is it because his pictures... Are his pictures all victims? All of them? And he's only doing... Do you see how many folders he had? How many binders he had? They just let this go on. And that means he followed us here. I wonder if he told Nathan to tell him he's going to destroy all the evidence. I wonder. So Makes me wonder. Do I don't know. I, I have nothing else to say with it. Only oh, for I the fact that by. I'm just more confused than I have answers. Oh, but is it interesting? It's really interesting. So Rachel's dead, which I kind of, it sounds bad. I kind of figured Rachel would be dead because she's been gone for far too long. And if she was still alive, she was probably, she'd probably be really traumatized. Even maybe have Stockholm Syndrome for all we know. But there was no way. You know what sucks about this is the fact that you could tell the Prescotts have so much power over everything because... They literally found Rachel's body, her dead corpse. And instead of reporting to the police, they kept it to themselves because they can't even trust the police to even help them because they're under the Prescott's, you know, fingernails. Now we know David, they, of course we know David didn't do anything. I did, I did not trust him. I feel bad for Frank too. He loved Rachel. And now she's, she's just gone, hoping to find her and she's gone. I'm glad we warned Victoria though, but it wasn't even Nathan she had to worry about. I mean, Nathan drugged Kate and sent got, sent her to Mr. Jefferson. So maybe, yeah, so stay away from Nathan as money. well. I'm... Oh, I just thought I'd drop by. Just checking in. I cannot believe. I cannot believe. I, I can believe, but I... That makes me wonder if that vehicle that um, David took that we saw when we were investigating was Mr. Jefferson's. That means he made Nathan pose with Rachel's dead body. Think about that. That's sick. That has to be why Nathan's acting up. A hundred percent. I think that is. He's so crazed about what happened because he liked Rachel. Because when we dressed up, when we dressed in Rachel's clothes and we saw Nathan, he was excited to see Ra that he thought it was Rachel. He went, Rachel, and he looked happy. So I think he's traumatized by the moment that Mr. Jefferson killed her and he had to help bury her. And he's probably the reason he even she even ended up at Mr. Jefferson's. And how long has this poor kid been helping him? What kind of dirt does he have on Nathan to make him do this 
terrible crap. And it, and Harry takes pills for all this stuff. I feel bad for Nathan. He, he's a victim as much as anybody else. Is he helping? Yes, but honestly, he, he uh, most likely doesn't even have a choice, and he has to. Oh, I just. I'm trying to think if there's anything that kind of pointed it to being Mr. Jefferson, besides his his actual work, his his photographs matching with the ones in the the dark room. I can't think of anything else. Oh, Lordy. I'm glad people are alive for now, but I'm still shocked. Is Chloe really dead? Really? They really went that route. And we still have to worry about the storm? Oh my god, I'm lost. I'm lost. Until the next episode, guys. I am so lost. No, if you, if you notice anything, or if you put two and two together that I haven't noticed so far, please comment it down below, because I want to know more. I want to notice if you guys noticed anything. I haven't noticed anything with Mr. Jefferson being weird at all. I mean, he's egotistical, but that's what I thought that's what I thought it was, really, truly. But yeah, if you notice if you notice anything, if you know anything that up to this point, obviously not spoilers or anything like that, please comment down below cuz I want to know. I I want to know. I'm genuinely curious. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm in shock. Seriously, I'm in shock. I didn't mean to smile. I was uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Now it's water time. You know what time it is. If you don't, this is your daily reminder to basically drink water. So I'm so in shock. You, want, <laughs> you could drink with me if you don't want to, oh, and I you want to come back and do it. That's perfectly okay. By. If you don't want to do it at all with just me, that's perfectly okay too. Just do it on your own time. This is just a daily reminder. Push play whenever you're ready. Ah. Uh refreshing i've been drinking water today so that i didn't chug it as much but yeah that's gonna be it for this episode thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you're excited for the next episode because i am i'm ready to put mr jefferson down in the ground he deserves it like what an asshole an asshole but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day and i hope you have a good night adios When it's over, I might kiss the sky I'll need your roses, no last goodbye Yeah, my soul cries out in the dead